Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Unbreakable Sentai Podcast. I'm James. Ooh, ooh, I'm Darius. And I'm Noah. What number are we on, Darius? Noah told me 44. Noah is correct. So you get zero <laughs> points. I award you nothing. I called a friend. <laughs> Fuck it. Okay, okay, he's right. He, he, he phoned a friend. True. He phoned a friend. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good today. Yeah. I was recording stuff with my friend Noah. And then, and then, and then Sam and- <laughs> I thought you were doing a joke, and then you were like, fuck, I fucked up. Yeah, I fucked up. <laughs> I was looking you in your eyes, and I was like, I, I fucked And you gestured up. to Darius. Yeah, I was like, no, what? <laughs> I should have just said sweater. I would have been fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, me and Jay's played a Resident Evil love letter game. Yep, and boy, howdy is it. And uh, yeah, uh, I think the weird thing with Resident Evil, at least with me and James and Dan probably. Yep. We're happy to always play a Resident Evil clone, and that itch gets scratched and is very happy, and that itch can start itching again one week later after we finish any type of Resident Evil game. Correct. So, <laughs> so we're always itching. And you guys uh, this just was got pretty... a new game, though. Huh? You guys got a new game not too long ago. Yeah, That's but true. it's been over a week. <laughs> yeah, you know how this works. Come on. I was thinking about Resident Evil Nine and one week after I beat eight. Yeah. <laughs> you, you got a Resident Evil plug, Darius? Because I could I could go for some more right now. <laughs> Luckily Dan came through for us this time. That's true. Now we should mention it's classic Resident Evils yeah, that yeah. we're we're going for. Because like the new ones are great, but like there's something. I don't about know, them. I still want to play that shitty Russian Resident Evil clone where you play as multiple characters. Uh, you said it was like five dollars oh, at oh. the book. Uh, uh, Martian Gothic reunification, the the one where you're three different people and you're. I think so. Yeah, yeah, I own it. We can. It's on PS4. PS1. No, no, no. This one's new, newer. It's on PS4. Hmm. It's uh, you play as a black guy and then you play as like a soldier guy and uh, you knew about it when I told you about it, but it's so obscure that you can't think of anything right now. I'm so. I it's kn- shitty. It's I a wanted- shitty independent RE4, RE5, re- like. Oh, oh, Daymare. Maybe. Daymore. Day, uh, it's got to be Daymare. We, we looked at videos of it at work, right? Yeah. Yeah. You knew exactly when I was describing it. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Look at this. This dude was a fucking nerd. He knew exactly <laughs> what I was talking about. Because <laughs> it's got Hunk. If you had told me it was the one with Hunk, I would have gotten yeah. quicker. Yeah. This is a shitty clone, but I'm down to play it. Yeah. This is a clone of the newer style, though, yeah. which I'm still down to play. 100%. Um. But yeah, dude, we still need to play that Martian Gothic. I've got that Black Rose or whatever that's really shitty that I showed you. We got to play that. We got <laughs> we got shit to play. Um, but yeah, yeah, the Resident Evil clones are great. And what, you know what? We'll 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 have you sit in and play some with us someday. <laughs> I, I, I'm not expecting I mean, you to have the we same. We should stop. We should start you at the tip. Which is RE one re- remake? Exactly, exactly. Not, we're not gonna, we're not gonna fuck you hard immediately. You know, we're not gonna throw you to the dogs. What do you mean? About Saying make you plant heaven's it. dust or something? Yeah, like some esoteric shitty ones. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna start you with the ones that you have the best, best hope of liking. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, uh, I, I lost what I was gonna say. It was about Resident Evil. We, I'm not expecting you to like it nearly as much as us. Yeah. But as long as you come away going, that was I. Yeah, I'll, for, I'll be like for me with games like i've just like recently kind of discovered is like i don't care much for story yeah i care more with like the challenge of playing it well, those and not like challenge. not like resident evil isn't challenging but it's not like you, you want challenging you, the same way like Sekiro challenges me exactly. or like a puzzle game challenges me or something like that exactly yeah i i completely agree because like it's yeah it's it's different because, like, survival horror is... I was talking with Darius when we were playing Tormented Souls. That it's, like... Resident Evil's about math most of the time. Because mm-hmm. it's, like, how much... How many bullets are you willing to spend? And how much life are you willing to waste mm-hmm. in a room to do something? And, like, that's where a lot of the, like, struggle comes from. Because it's, like, I've got five bullets I'm willing to spend in my handgun to get to the next area that I think I have a puzzle solution for. Sure. Do, 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 you know? But I love that shit. Yeah. So... I think I think you might like Silent Hill more than Resident Evil, honestly. Yeah. Silent Hill is a lot more about like the puzzle aspect. Mm. There's dude, there's one that fucked me up because like, you need to know the fucking like zodiac symbols and figure it out, and it gives you like a riddle, and then oh, you have shit. to check shit out in other rooms to figure it out, and then you go to the door. That's cool. And I was like, what the fuck am I doing? Is that two? Yeah. No, that's one. <clears throat> 
Oh, shit. Yeah, it's one of the last areas in one. Um, Because you, like, look at it and you're like, okay, what's on this wall? That's a crab. That's a man. That's a centaur. That's... Oh, I don't know what's going on with this. (laughs) I'm going to walk away. Uh, Resident Evil... Not Resident Evil. Silent Hill 3 is actually super cool that way, too. Because all the Silent Hill games have puzzle difficulty select like selections so you can choose combat easy normal hard and then puzzle easy normal hard oh, nice. so it's like how how much do you want to have to think sure because like the the equivalent like uh uh for silent hill 3 the puzzle i always tell people with this shit is on easy mode there are three books in a bookstore that you have to put into a wall and when you put them in the right way there's a code written on the spines and you go that's the code to the door and then if you're on hard for that same puzzle, there are five books that you have to put in order, and it tells you you need to have pseudo familiarity familiarity with those books of Shakespeare mm-hmm. to know because it's like the first part of the code involves like a man who's trying to kill his uncle doing whatever 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 and you're like ah i know that's macbeth so what order does macbeth go in in relation to the rest of these and then that's not even the code you have to figure it out they're like you have to cut these parts of what we told you into a different order and it's like holy shit (laughs) damn because it's like five books and it's a four digit code and you're like (sighs) yeah so, like, they they let you have as much trouble as you want. So you might really enjoy Silent Hill a little bit more for that reason. Sure. It's almost more like a puzzle game than a survival horror. Yeah. But, yeah. I was thinking about this. I talked to you guys about it at lunch. So Disney's making new episodes of X-Men 97. The, the 90s cartoon. The 90s that, cartoon. That shaped us. Yeah. da na 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 <laughs> cartoon where you have Wolverine stab nobody but robots yeah exactly <laughs> you think they're gonna try and make it look like the same style animation I, it, I hope so but that would be a lot of work for them today cause that was yeah. still sell I'm pretty sure yeah so <laughs> Disney, Disney doesn't have the type of money no you're right it's true they're, they're an indie company yeah we've gotta just we gotta hope they kickstart it <laughs> So I guess my question is: Do you remember the crossover episodes of Spider Man? No. There's From a the 90s Spider Man. Yeah, there's an episode where uh, <laughs> where where they cross over and uh, the X Men. Not as good. <laughs> no. Spider Man like goes into the X Men's like mansion and like he ends up fighting them in the danger room or something, mm. and then they they end up going to like the city in New York to like help them fight. Sandman? I don't know. Someone. Super, super Goblin? Someone. <laughs> but yeah, it was, it, was, it was a dope time. I just want to say that I was super terrified at Man, at Man Spider in the old Spider-Man cartoon. See, I remember that one. That was, I never liked he was that. He gross as fuck. Yeah, and I was like, <laughs> if, if that can happen to Peter because of his yeah. shit, maybe it's not all good. Yeah. That's okay. They made it worse by making him have radioactive cum later in the comics, so fuck it. Like glue or something? Like it was, it was glowing? No, he gave Mary Jane cancer because of his radioactive cum. I feel like we don't need to. We don't need that story point. We don't. <laughs> we didn't. But it's here. <laughs> yeah. Did he cure the cancer with cum? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't remember where that went. He stopped being Spider Man for a bit or some shit. Because, I mean. I can't do this anymore. I, 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 my cum is poison. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Don't look at me. I'm, a, I'm an animal. All those uh, super geniuses in that universe, I'm sure she was fine. Yeah. Between Reed Richards and fucking Bruce Banner, they figured something out for her. 100%. Yeah. And fucking Iron Man and every other super scientist in the world. Yeah. Uh, no, so I, I guess my question is, because they're doing that, and we talked kind of about um, the Rugrats, how they rebooted Rugrats no, with, didn't. like, modern day. They didn't. Oh, they did. They didn't. Oh, they did, baby. That's not my Rugrats. That's not. Hashtag <laughs> not my Rugrats. Uh, <laughs> but no, I was going to say, how do you guys feel about either, b- both, because it's two different things, right? There's rebooting series, like Rugrats, or there's what they're doing with um continuations continuations after x number of years because like x files had two more seasons 20 years after the series was over twin peak twin peaks got a third season like loads of things that were super popular back in the day suddenly got either complete remakes 
or continuations. And I've heard decent things about every, like, continuation. Like, there, there are positives and negatives and mm. whatever else. But, like, how do you guys feel about that? Do you feel like it's, like, awesome, I can't wait? Or is it more of, like, a... I mean, they shouldn't do continuations unless they get, like, the same writers, I guess. I, I can agree with that. Yeah. Because then it's, like... You just might as well make a new series at that point. True. Because then it feels like you're just trying to nostalgia bait. Yeah. Like, you you don't think this will succeed, so you're just right. praying that you'll get a season's worth of money out of it. I don't know. I know a prime example of this is Digimon. They, yeah. they like, did new seasons where the previous seasons didn't matter, but then... They also made movies where the original characters continue their story as being teenagers. And I watched a majority of those movies, and I don't know if I care for Is that them. Try? I think like, so. I almost called it Monster Hunter Try. That's the Wii game. Yeah, uh. <laughs> I, think, I think it's Try. And I, I don't think I cared for that as much, but also liked seeing the characters grow up. But mm-hmm. it just seemed like it wasn't that good. I don't know if Digimon was ever good, because I'm viewing it as a eight year old brain mindset. Yeah, <laughs> maybe it was always trash. I don't know. It was great to me. I guess because that's the thing, right? Is I feel like that's also maybe a little different too, because even the second season of Digimon, right? That mm-hmm. still had the same characters were there. Yeah. They weren't the main characters yeah, they were except in, for in uh, universe. <clears throat> TK uh, and Kyrie. Kyrie, yeah. Which like, is totally their names, TK. Yeah. <laughs> TK, I'm, I'll just make it fun of the translation. I'm, I doubt his name is TK in Japan. No, yeah. yeah, no, not a chance. <laughs> not a fucking chance. Um, but I feel like that was okay because you got to see that Matt was a fucking like guitarist, like he was a fucking rock star. Um, uh, Ty was a loser, soccer player. He was no, he wasn't. Don't, don't, don't shit on Ty. <laughs> Ty's a loser. Don't, no, he's not. He's Ty's the best loser. one. Well, fuck you. Ty's, a, Ty's not the best the one. Best he is one. the best Izzy's one. Izzy's the best one. He's a soccer player. <laughs> Izzy is you the like best Tentamon? one. You like Tentamon? I do. I love Tentamon, but Tentamon I is cool. Uh, but I also just love Izzy because he was the smartest of the crew. Being yeah. like, okay, guys, we got to do this shit. Let me pull out my laptop. Yeah. Joe, I like Joe, but Joe was a little too much of like a hypochondriac where he yeah. was just like, ah, it's I feel so worse. If, if anyone was the worst, it was Mimi. She's useless. Yeah, but she got a hot Digimon, so she gets a pass. Never thought Digimon was hot, but okay. Yeah. Oh, you the never, fairy. You, I was yeah. like, you never okay. thought that Digimon <laughs> yeah, was right. hot. I'm, I'm thinking about the fucking, the, the fucking like little plant no, cactus no, thing. No, fuck <laughs> The like rose one. It yeah. grows up Come into. On. Like, everybody knows that every worm woman gets a Tittymon, okay? Like, every woman tamer <laughs> yeah. gets a Tittymon. Renamon's a Tittymon. Fucking the bird person becomes a harpy Tittymon. Yeah. Fucking Gatomon just becomes the original Tittymon. It's fine, you know? Yeah, then you got the evil ones yep. becoming Tittymons. Becoming Tittymons, exactly. Like, well, how else are you going to sell it to kids? Exactly. <laughs> now nah, it's not selling it to kids it's selling it to the sad teenagers that you created because those kids watched Digimon <laughs> no they're they're appealing to the whales so yeah, that yeah. <laughs> they can continue to make their shows you're right you're right <laughs> speaking of being whales Noah when's the next time that we go have these on a fucking dead box <laughs> oh shit you're right they're actually like getting cheaper they're around like 70 bucks yes yeah, you, you were telling me that they're back yeah, at like MSRP which is good except for the structure decks yeah but yeah but yeah, dude, let me know. I love opening packs. Things are finally calming down yeah. for Digimon. I don't know if that's a good sign or not, but yeah, it is for my wallet. True. I feel like it's a good sign for, like, it's probably just... Yeah, it might be just like, more. yeah. Yeah, that, that was the biggest issue. It was just there wasn't enough supply. That and whales and lar- <laughs> land whales, huh? <laughs> uh, they kept dude, those bum p- rushing Pulse targets. Mons are like 40 bucks, the promo that we got. Really? Yeah. Jesus, we have three of those, right? Yeah, they 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 were only released as promos, so that's why they're kind of expensive. But they're also like one of the best yellow like rookies. Really? Yeah, they have like an on play and a kill effect. They're at one of the archetypes is like Lord Nightmon that can like bring into play stuff. So you're just getting free energy or free cards. Jesus, <clears throat> you can have th- four of the monsters. Yeah, it's a four set. Okay. I only have three, but but still, that's better yeah, than one. <laughs> so it's good money. <laughs> But, um, I don't know, so D- Digimon thing is weird for, like, the reboot and the continuation. 
I didn't enjoy that. But one thing that uh, did recently get get a continuation was a show called Leverage that I watched back in like the 2010s. Mm. And Amazon bought it and they did a continuation. And the main character didn't come back because he's like a movie star. Mm. And, um, he's too famous for leverage now. But the, the thing is, he he went. He was a movie star before that, and then his career kind of fell. So he like did leverage because he was like, okay, might as well as a check. I need money, yeah. And then he kind of got more popular again. So he never came back for leverage. And one of the guys um, in the show became more famous and became a movie star. And when they did a continuation of the show, it didn't really feel like the old show because the old the older guy left mm-hmm. and the guy who became a movie star is only in two episodes because mm-hmm. he was off making movies <laughs> so so it was kind of like so it wasn't even that he didn't want to come back it was just that he was actually yeah too busy <laughs> yeah or, or they could only afford him for two episodes mm-hmm. I, you yeah. know either or that's kind of shitty yeah so like i watched two episodes and then i, I got halfway through the third one and i was like i i'm good because it doesn't feel the same. And I don't know if that's a good thing or not, if it doesn't feel the same. Yeah. Because, of course, they want to try something new. They don't want to rehash the same old shit. I don't know. In my opinion, I would prefer with this 90s X-Men thing. I think I would just prefer something new and just use, like, the same character. So, I, I guess a reboot. Yeah. Because... I don't know, Instead I just, of like a continuation from whatever the final. Yeah, I feel is. like. I don't know. I feel like you can fuck it up more because there's expectations. There's more expectations when it's a continuation. That's fair. Because hmm. I'm excited to watch this new Digimon reboot that they're they're doing because it's a reboot, so they can like do better things and make characters better. Because for you hate Ty for some reason. I don't hate Ty. He's, He's a loser. <laughs> Ty's a loser in your head. Yeah. But but if they do his reboot, they can probably make him less of a loser. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. But in the continuation, they kind of have to set. They they're coming in set at with him being a loser, he and they have to just winter gloves in the work summer. with that. He's a fucking loser. I'm sorry. Just... He's ten years old. Ten year olds can be losers, Darius. It's okay. <laughs> Look, you want to give him a participation trophy because he's an idiot? That's cool. You can do that. I'm gonna call him a loser. I'm going to slap those gloves off his stupid fucking hand right off there. So, yeah, I, I'm trying to figure out, like, a continuation that I, like, actually loved where something came back. I was like, holy fuck. Yeah. This is great. Teen Titans. Oh. Even movies after a long time. Rush Hour 3 wasn't good. You liked Bad Boys for Life, though. Bad Boys for Life was good. Yeah. It was a, it was a solid good movie. Yeah. And that was, like, rare because that shit doesn't really happen. And when a movie has been, like has a sequel and it's been over 10 years the chances of it being garbage is very strong oh yeah it's 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 a 98 <laughs> percent chance look, look at star wars shit. you know what i mean <laughs> uh, <yeah>. star wars <laughs> <laughs> oh dog shit. i think i've uh, seen all of the movies oh you have now i think so nice how'd you what was your favorite part of the the rise of the skywalker was it when she pulled out the ancient dagger <laughs> And it perfectly lined up to the Death Star that has been destroyed on that planet for uh, like at least twenty years, and it's still perfectly lined cool. up to the debris. Yeah, was I that like your favorite part? Yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> hey Darius, what was your part? Was your favorite part when Finn fell into the sand and screamed at Ray and said, "I have to tell you something." And they never address it again. I was so mad at that. <laughs> they ruined that character, man. Maybe I haven't seen the latest one. You don't have to. Maybe no. I did. I'll watch I mean, it like with the you. background or something. It's fucking shit. I'd love to. to watch it again. You don't, I want you to don't, tear that movie apart. You don't have to. I'll stick to Dune, the adult, adult Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking in the last movie, anyway. uh, what, what's the... Palpatine comes back? Somehow. So. Yeah, some, somehow Palpatine has returned. And, and that is the actual line out of an actor's mouth. Fuck you. you know, you're creatively bankrupt when you have to rely on old characters. And guess, yeah. but guess who he's related Ryan to? <laughs> Ray is his ah. Ray is his granddaughter. Yeah, dude. It's but fucking ah. stupid. Yep. So stupid. And do you remember the message of the movie? Your last name doesn't matter. Uh, oh, of uh, the second movie, um, Last Jedi. Oh no, no, I, I'm even talking about the third one. But yeah, 
the the moral of the story of the, the last Jedi yeah. is your name doesn't matter, which is something I loved. Mm-hmm. And then they just take that back because people. I'm just gonna say the old heads didn't like that. Yep. And J.J. Abrams was like, "We got to fix it." And, uh, I don't, for, so it seems like continuation suck in this X Men uh, show is gonna suck. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, probably. It's Disney, dude. Like it's it's gonna be. Here's the thing, and I think this is how it is with all continuations, right? It will never be as good as what your brain remembers as the best part of the thing. Yeah, it's impossible to make to recapture what my ten year old brain thought was cool. Yeah, yeah. The only way I think they can make it good, good, right? And I don't even want to say this is if they pull a Samurai Jack. I think Samurai, Samurai Jack. Jack yeah, Samurai, Samurai Jack was yeah. good. That was sick. That was Genji that... Tartakovsky is fucking god. One hundred percent. But they 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 made it more grown up. And I think I hope I don't hope because I want it to be kid friendly, right? But if they take it that way, right? They make it the exact same like animation. Actually, have Wolverine stab a person. Exactly. Put it in his chest. Yeah. You know, and like like make him it's make them actually talk chance. about no. serious stuff. It's not gonna happen. But no, I, I you're right. <laughs> I, I agree, though. I think I would rather they make a new series that's based on what the comics are right now with all the, like, the Island of Mutants and X and Magneto teaming up to Honestly, make whatever it's fucking called. Can you imagine having to write an X-Men story, but you're told you can't have Wolverine stab anybody? That's got to be hard. Because, like, that's, his whole character is, like, about violence and just, like... Yeah, well, his... I mean, they kind of did it with, like, the Joker and Tess. They were like, he can't kill anybody. So they like made it so like he didn't kill anybody in the Batman anime series. Yeah, yeah. Thank but you. they made it like worse. My brain went to a list of speed run, and oh, I was yeah. like, oh, <laughs> 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 "But yeah, I mean, uh, limitations help them get a bit more creative, I guess." Yeah, but, but it's just like with Wolverine, like he's always gonna be stabbing robots. Yeah, which which like sucks, and then it, it, I don't know. <laughs> It, it takes away from his character because his character's like so haunted with like violence mm-hmm. and just the things he's for he's been forced to do and like it just he has to do yeah because he he can't turn away from it now yeah it's, it's he he can't not kill because he's like this is the problem solver so exactly so uh, it's gotta be hard to write for I'm not saying it's impossible because yeah. like you said they did it in Batman but and hell they did it in the 90s animated <laughs> series too yeah right like they succeeded yeah it's just it's just hard because <laughs> Cyclops can shoot people and it's a, not melt people so it's like f- easy to write for him but yeah and Rogue just punches good because she can fly and do everything because Rogue yeah <laughs> What were you about to say? Something? Yeah, I think the way they do it, though, right? Because there are two things that everyone knows Wolverine does, right? Kill people and take a shit on Scott Summers' chest. That's the best part of it. So, <laughs> so what happens is they dial down the murder, but to make up for it, they dial up the shitting. Yeah. And I think that's how they have to make Wolver- it work. Have right? you guys ever seen Wolverine and the X-Men? The series on Nickelodeon, like... In the 2010s. Is that when he had the yellow outfit in that one? Yeah, he has a yellow outfit. Yeah. Well, he okay. pretty much, he, he has to like, he's the leader of X-Men at that point. Because the X-Men get disbanded and X dies. Mm. And um, Air quotes for everyone. Yeah. Uh, that was good. And that had a lot of Wolverine being an asshole to Scott. Because to Scott. It, it, there's a flashback of when he first meets Gene. And he's just a piece of shit to Scott. And it's fucking great. <laughs> I, I love the dynamic of Scott Summers and Wolverine because I have to lead this team, but I have this asshole here who doesn't listen to me. Yeah, <laughs> fuck. And he's trying to fuck my girl at the same time. And my girl, <laughs> my girl is Isn't leading. Saying no. Yeah, she's leading him on, <laughs> but would never go that far. But still leading him on. This sucks. I gotta work with him and hope that he saves my life tomorrow. Yep. <laughs> and you can't even yell at him because whenever he does what he does, it still works. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's been so many times where they'll walk into a place and Wolverine would just leave. <laughs> it's so weird Wolverine isn't the leader. What do you yeah. say? Yeah. Wolverine, it's, I said it was weird that Wolverine isn't the leader. Yeah, yeah, it so is. He has like significant seniority over like almost oh, everybody yeah. there but he's an <laughs> asshole 100 years and it's so right. like I, I don't know maybe i, I don't know why x leadership ability but i think it's 
I because I, I think I remember them talking about it in one of the newer ones. Because <clears throat> Wolverine talks to Scott when Scott's having like a mental breakdown and the cops are outside the building in one mm-hmm. of them, and like he's like, "I'm a damaged piece of shit, and the only thing I know how to do is fight the way I do, where I don't care about myself." I can't lead people because I mentally oh, can't care about them. Mm. Right. Because I, I like I'm immortal. Yeah. It doesn't matter what I do. I'm going to be fine. But he's like you care about other people, so you can't be evil, Scott. Like you have to be the leader. Yeah. I have to be the piece of shit because you're not me. Sure. And I can't be and I can't be not me. And That's Scott fair. and him have that moment of like, fuck, okay, maybe we should try to get out of here and not kill these cops. He's like, <laughs> okay, cool. Sorry about trying to fuck Gene. I'll try again tomorrow. I'll try again tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's like, okay, that's fair, right? Like, yeah. you've, you've spent 200 years literally battling to the death because you can't die. Yeah. So, yeah, you probably have a skewed fucking brain. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, I, I think I'd agree with what you were saying. We're like, it's it, I'd prefer you to make something new. And I understand that it's hard with something like X-Files or Twin Peaks when the only reason people cared about those was because of the main characters, right? Because yeah. like Coop or whatever the main character from Twin Peaks, he's a fucking weirdo and that's what people love. So you can't make a new series with not him. Yeah. And X-Files, people love fucking Fox and Mulder. You can't get rid of them. You can't bring in some <laughs> some new hotshot kids. Yeah, and like, be like, like them. Nah, <laughs> it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. You need Fox with his big dick. Yeah, you're right. Same thing with um Sopranos. Um, they made that new movie. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, and uh, I heard <laughs> Joey Diaz was in that. Who's Joey Diaz? Uh, he's a comedian. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I guess like if you don't. I think I know him. I've seen his stuff, but I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, he's hilarious. But I heard he's in the movie. Yeah, (laughs) I think he played. That's half the Sopranos. Did he play Big Pussy? Look up if he played Big Pussy in Sopranos. It's called Mini Sinks. Joey what? Joey Diaz. But um, yeah, with the Sopranos, it was a weird prequel movie. No, he didn't play Big Pussy. That's Joey Diaz. Joey Coco Diaz. I think he dies in the movie. I think I do remember seeing him. All right. But I think he, he, yeah, he dies in the movie. I just want to know how he was in the movie. He wasn't. He wasn't, an, in, he wasn't in it enough to like really <laughs> matter. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it's a prequel. But it's something more, so it's technically a continuation because you like to learn more about the story. And right, it had it's pro- it was kind of it was weird. It wasn't very significant to the story, and it didn't really like blow your mind away like the Soprano series does. Yeah. So it was kind of unnecessary, in my opinion, to be made. I feel like that's how prequels are a lot of the time, too, right? Because it's like you know the outcome, so it's hard to care about what's going on because mm-hmm. you go, oh, that character did something that doesn't matter. Because it didn't affect anything in the series right. in the long run. Uh, Resident Evil has this problem sometimes, actually. Because, like, in the newer game, there's, like, a letter between characters that you find. That's, like, a letter of, like, Oh, I knew you when we were young, and I chose to, like, the symbol that's in the uh, uh, the your guys' village is the symbol that I'm going to use for my new company and all this stuff. And it's the umbrella logo. And it's, like, I don't need to see that. We don't need to hear the history of your fucking logo anymore. Like that, it's so far removed. But you wanted to sprinkle in a little bit of like, and it's just like no, no, no one gives a shit. He could have been like jerking off, and he like looked out his window, and there was an umbrella, like someone walked with an umbrella, and he was like, "That's my company," (laughs) and like I'd accept it just as much as what you gave me. (laughs) It's pretty cool. I feel like they just have to try to flush out and establish why the characters are the way they are yeah thank and you like, for putting an image of spencer jerking off in my head James. at least he's young <laughs> at least he's young in that story all i can see is young is old spencer though yeah <laughs> looking like the crypt keeper yeah <gasps> umbrella dust comes out <laughs> <laughs> oh 
That's that's what I had. <laughs> that's that's my topic. Yeah, I I, I I would prefer if Disney does with this X Men thing, which is what they could possibly do. Just like use those characters. So the like the crew from the '90s. So give me the gambit, gambit the good rogue that everybody cares about. I don't know why they keep trying to like make her different. Yeah, she's Rogue is not interesting if she doesn't have Captain Marvel's powers. Yeah. This is what it is. And uh the you know, Beast. Give me the the cast of characters. I I can do without Jubilee, but I'll take Jubilee. Yep. yep. Jubilee's fine. And <laughs> do something new with it. Her, her outfit is so 90s. It can't fucking work today. <laughs> <laughs> it can't fucking work today. A goddamn like yellow raincoat with a fucking like pink golf shirt like collared shirt i know i know she has like shorts fucking yellow pink sunglasses yep. yeah but the sunglasses like are all those like same material even like the things that go around her yep yeah those and her shorts. powers aren't even that cool her powers is are fireworks it was, it's nothing that cool her, her power <laughs> is actually super cool it's just not cool in the show to just like kinetic energy she she can turn sound into like light and physical whatever is mm-hmm. what she does oh i thought it was just fireworks no i no, thought yeah, she, she literally <laughs> turns the sound into like a, a physical form of energy and it's like fuck that's so cool but they were like nah we just want sparkles in our show <laughs> so we'll make her sparkle come on look at that of course this is why i like pink like <laughs> jesus christ God. Yeah, give me that 90s gambit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking loser. I love him. I fucking love him. Give me that 90s gambit. There's only one type of gambit. Yeah, goddamn right. You can't change that that costume. (laughs) (laughs) You better not change that costume. I don't know, man. There's there's some (laughs) cool gambits that aren't that one. Uh, Wolverine Origins? That that gambit with the fedora. What can't what gambit? Wolverine Origins. What gambit? <laughs> hey Noah, how do you feel about reboots and shows? You didn't give us our your, your response. I no, I did. I said if they bring back the writers, then it's okay to do a continuation. Yeah, but so, if they don't, then then yeah, it's better. So if out. they brought back the writers in 1984, Dune and did Dune Messiah, you'll be like, man, this is great. That's not what I said. <laughs> 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 they brought back the writers to, uh, no they were, we're all good <laughs> well I mean then it's a continuation of that story yeah the story's shit so <laughs> it doesn't mean I'm gonna watch it we need more dick lasers man hey <laughs> dick energy force <laughs> <laughs> you scream from the way. dick <laughs> oh my god it's so bad it's so bad <laughs> I, I I don't give a fuck. I didn't get my fucking dog. I didn't get my pug, right? I didn't get a wall with a cat rat. I didn't get a wall mural with a dog. I had better get Sting in the audience in the next movie. <laughs> in the Harkening Gladiator movie. Exactly. I just, I don't just care. Just bring Sting back. Have him play Fade at yeah. age 50, 57. Yeah, dude. Give him that weird play fucking. play 15-year-old Fade. He's so good. Bring back Sting, you cowards. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they cut a lot of scenes from Dune. They it's really kind of weird. Did. Like There was a scene where it was like through fear, like joining the Harkonnens that they just cut, Yep, which makes sense. But then they might start the next one with that. Maybe there's a lot of opportunities to start with an interesting intro. Yeah, because I, I legit I will I'll say it right now. They are not. I'm going to be wrong. But they will not start it with them making it to the siege. It'll it'll start off planet. It'll start off Dune. Think it, so? it has to. It has to. Because you have to set up something mm. more yeah. than the Baron. They right haven't now, even like, hinted at Fade, though. Yeah. They haven't even hinted at the Empire, even, really. Like, they, they kind of did, but, like, they haven't shown the King or the Emperor. Mm. Yeah. Well, I or Irulan. They've talked about, like, the Emperor. Yeah. They haven't even, like, mentioned... The Baron has like a nephew he's trying to prepare for. Yeah, I don't know. I, in my opinion, I don't think the Emperor matters that much. I I think they can get away with. I don't think they have to hire a famous actor to play the Emperor. I don't care. Yeah. I would agree. 
Yeah. Like, he I mean, shows up at the end and that's it. What do you say? I said they definitely will, though. It's going to be Ben Yeah, Kingsley. yeah. <laughs> You're, it might be Ben Kingsley. Might be ben yeah. Kingsley. <laughs> um, dude, Trisha was straight up like, they kind of they kind of fucked Gurney in the movie, didn't they? And I was like, yeah, they kind of gave him a raw deal. What do you mean? Because like, he doesn't act like how Gurney should. Because Gurney is supposed to be super charismatic, even though he's ugly, and Josh hmm. Brolin isn't. <laughs> like, Yeah, they like cut all of his scenes. Of yeah. His. And I was saying that they they kind of made, um, because they had to, but they kind of made Jason Momoa more of what Gurney's character was supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Because, like, not that he wasn't charismatic in his own way, but they talked in the books about how Gurney was the one who would, like, joke with the troops and, like, everything, and he'd, like, be like, you know, uh, because whatever was better with women or whatever, like uh, Duncan. Idaho. Yeah. I mean, he's... Yeah, he's... He's... he's he's a fuck truck, you know. He's, like, <laughs> he's a man. You're goddamn right. They just they literally just flocked on him. He walks into a room, they all look at him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, big true and god emperor. Yep. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. When, when you have to complain about man, they always send me for the women, and that just shows how dope you are. Yep. <laughs> I gotta yeah. fuck all these ladies. It sucks, man. It sucks. I just want to play basketball <laughs> <laughs> with my homies, my boys. <laughs> <laughs> well they kind of had to make duncan like very personable because he's super important but yeah they way I, more important than gurney 100 100 percent in the long run yeah but yeah i don't know i i i agreed with her where i was like yeah they kind of fucked gurney yeah like well, they fucked through fear true. they fucked piter yep jessica yep. yeah yeah they kind of fucked jessica a bit still love the movie yeah. They did a fantastic job, but some characters did lose some, some mm. beautiful scenes. Dude, I, I know I said it before, but I just can't wait for more Silgar. Yeah. The actor is fucking amazing. He's like, so it's good. just a little bit you got. I'm, uh, be so good. I'm done with this conversation. He just fucking goes to leave. Yeah. I'm like, fuck yeah, Silgar. This is like demeanor and like the way he speaks is just perfect. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. You did not tell us we knew the weirding way. Peace, woman. Peace. <laughs> This changes things. <laughs> <laughs> so I was um I was having a conversation with Jay's earlier this week. Yeah. I was thinking about Kingdom Hearts. Oh gross. And I was like, James is a uh, is did Kingdom Hearts like is it an like important game? Did it change anything in the industry? And James looked at me with straight faces like No. Nah. <laughs> it was instant too. It was, it was, he's just like all. he's like we're just we're just nerds and we like Kingdom yeah, Hearts. Why the fuck is that game popular? The games are fun and a lot of people played them when they were nine. Disney. Any any <laughs> any. So here's the thing: at nine years old, there's only one good Disney game, and it was Kingdom Hearts. That's not true. The Aladdin game was good. That's true. That's true. Literally, when so I was nine, two of two hundred. When I was in it. fifth grade or whatever. I literally said, I like Final Fantasy and I like Disney. This game was made for me. I literally said that to Dang. myself. Yep. And I was so excited. I don't know why James bought the game because James doesn't play for the Disney shit. Mm. Older brother. Your older brother liked Disney? My older brother liked Final Fantasy. Yeah. He was a square boy. So he picked it up because he went, well, it's Squall's square. in here. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, Squall? <laughs> like- so, so maybe it's just super popular because it's kind of like... It's a, a good entry point for if you want to, if you like Final Fantasy games. Sure. And then it just kind of rolled into a whole generation. It just came out the right time where a generation mm-hmm. just latched onto it. And now we're just rolling with the ball. Mm-hmm. So that could be why it's so popular. And each, each game is v- fun in its own way. And like, two is a legitimately good game. One is rough. One is rough, but two is a legitimately fun action RPG for the PS2. Like, when I played, when you play Kingdom Hearts 2, thinking back on, like, what games were out there, Mm. like, the gameplay is, like, leagues above any other action game at that time, with the exception of, like, Devil May Cry 3. But then we're talking about literally the top of the fucking character action genre for decades, you know? So, um... James like just said no, but I was thinking about 
some of the most important games ever. And I wanted to figure out if we can find, make a top 10 list of the most important games to ever come out. I understand Mario's going to probably be up there, but no particular order. But what are the most important games to ever come out that impacted the industry? If and, we're talking about like the industry changing mm-hmm. games, right? Medal of Honor would be up there. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> absolutely. Medal of Honor, not Call of Duty? I'm pretty sure Medal of Honor was first. Mm. Oh, yeah. And it had, like, the more people multiplayer first, too. Or, like, Battlefield. Battlefield 1942 absolutely changed the face of, like, shooting games. I think games. the first game that, like, had, like, massive maps was Mag. That game flopped, but I'm pretty sure that was the one that was, was like, on 100 or That's whatever. That's fair. But, uh, I think 1942 had 60, 64 on 64, and that was back in, like, 98 or, like, 2000. Mm. Mag was PS3. It was it was super fun, but yeah, the servers fucking they died so quick on that game. Um, Ocarina of Time. So we, we're working with Mario, Super Mario, or just Mario in general. Let's just say Mario. Mario, because you can say if you wanted to drop it to what two games? Like right, mm-hmm. it's sixty four and probably the first one, because the first one just ran so smooth and like was people's like oh my god games can be this good at home mm. you know because like they were used to arcades and every other game was like fucking atari's pac-man which ran like dog shit um and then 64 was just a game changer because it's like oh shit 3d you can make that work um we'll just say mario yeah mario uh, zelda yep um I, do we throw final fantasy 7 in there mm. did it change the industry from 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 what I understand, it may like it changed how pe- it's like the cinematic cutscenes rocked the industry. Like it made people pretty much want to put cinematic cutscenes in their games. That's fair. Then if that's the case, then we'd have so to. FIFA. They started microtransactions. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> it's got to go in there. I don't want to say that. I don't. <laughs> I would, I would give that flowers. Are you saying like, every other game doesn't have microtransactions now? I'd, that changed video games. It'd be, it'd be Oblivion, man. The horse armor deal. <laughs> $2.50 for digital armor for your horse. I, 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 can't, I can't put FIFA because of microtransactions. Well, it was like loot box microtransactions. Yeah, you said influential. Yeah. yeah. The changed video game. Hitler was influential. Completely. We don't want to say it. After we'll, that we'll, shit happened, EA was like, we need this in every single game. We'll, we'll put that on a back burner for now. <laughs> <laughs> do we do we put Resident Evil in there? Yeah, Resident Evil fucking made people think, like, oh, fuck. Like, because, like, what? Alone in the Dark was the other survival horror game before that. Yeah. And that game looked like hot fucking dog shit fucking carpets come to life and attack you and you're like a polygon man you're like oh burr, 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 burr. it's so bad so what about street fighter street fighter 2 yeah first game that has combos because of a bug <laughs> really yeah yeah it was unintentional wow yeah they, they, they realized while they were testing it that they were like oh shit if you if you put in another button you can get a, another hit off before the other person can react, and they were like, "Let's just make it a system." Yeah. Call it so combos. it was so if it was all just one punch. Yep. One punch, one kick. Wow. Which is why a lot of those older fighting games don't really combo. Like, there's no way to combo. Yeah. Fucking changed it. That's crazy. Yep. I didn't know that. But yeah, I, I, Z targeting, Ocarina of Time was the first one to have Z targeting, and if we didn't have that, people, it would have taken people a lot longer to figure out, like, oh shit, you can make that work. Mm-hmm. the coolest part is you can do this if you debug like an emulated version the reason they tested that is there's an r-wing from Star Fox 64 in zelda and it flies around Where? and shoot at you you can just spawn it that's how they tested z targeting oh. you would target it and it would ai fly around you and do its loops and like mm. come at you to like shoot at you so they could test the shield and shit mm. it's super cool wow um Dark Souls, obviously. I guess you would say Demon Souls, but Dark Souls is the one that like got popular. Sure. Because the whole idea of like, I guess it re 
made the idea of like you don't really necessarily need a story to be there Mm -hmm. and the idea of like checkpoints coming back in that way where enemies respawn and like whatever like it it changed the face of gaming metal gear metal gear yep i feel like i feel like this is like a there's just so many that are like you know it's like it's like the obvious ones yeah which isn't a bad thing it's just like we we know them because they're like yeah they fucking (laughs) they made a fucking difference i got i got a question then yeah between metroid and castlevania which one's more important metroid probably because it wasn't until symphony of the night came out on ps1 that metroid started do or big castlevania did that yeah big maps yep every other one was the walk and whip jump fall downstairs medusa head stage to stage yep so metroid for sure super metroid Mm -hmm. fucking changed that shit FIFA, I guess. We have to. It's influential, man. Yeah. FIFA. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you broke this, man. <laughs> I'm not wrong. What World of Warcraft? Yeah. I mean, it, it depends, easy. right? Because like, wouldn't you want to put in EverQuest then, Cause, or or like Ultima? Because Ultima was the first MMO, but WoW was the first like. When did Fantasy Master Star come out? Yeah. yeah, Fantasy Star? Like the original RPG stuff? I was talking about when they did MMO shit. Was that later? A lot later? It was a lot later. Because uh-huh. Fantasy Star was Dreamcast. Yeah, Fantasy Star 1, I think, is, is Dreamcast or GameCube. Fantasy Star 1? I thought Fantasy Star came out. I'm not talking about the MMO shit. I don't yeah. know that. Yeah. Because the original Fantasy Stars are SNES. <laughs> but those were just regular RPGs. RPGs yeah. yeah. But I think Fantasy Star Online was Dreamcast. So you said uh, uh, Ultra Quest or Ultima? Ultima. Mm-hmm. Is, that came out before WoW. Oh yeah. And EverQuest. EverQuest was EverQuest was for sure before WoW. WoW was the first one that looked good. Yeah. Like WoW had an art style. Every other like because EverQuest, while like everybody was hooked on it, it didn't grab people like WoW did because WoW looked magical everquest mm-hmm. was just brown brown so, so do we leave out halo then i was speaking a while fucking the new expansion's like almost over and this shit came out this year how long do they usually last a few years look at that everquest <laughs> that's a that's a game yep <laughs> that is that is a game are you trying to tell me that you didn't get your money's worth from Blizzard? No. <laughs> I mean, I put a lot of time in that when it came out, and I finished the raid. So, I guess I got my money's worth. But I, I just thought it was weird that, like, the last update for the expansion is, like, soon. I was like, that's fucked up. Are you trying to tell me that Blizzard is fucking over people with their <laughs> content? I mean... Is that possible? Yeah, how, how can that be, Noah? No, you're right, though. That is wild. Don't they usually try to support it for a bit fucking yeah. longer than that? I mean, it's usually a few years, like two or three before yeah. they even talk about another one. Well, they need to put something out because, what, the only games we know that they're making that anyone cares about have been pushed back two years? <laughs> Overwatch 2 is pushed back to 2023. They're Blizzard. They only Diablo do anything. is back to 2023. Dead. Yeah. They're fucked. It'll be cool to see him die. The Blizzard's not dying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, do we just leave out Halo, though? Is Halo not as important as those games? Well, it's weird, right? Because Halo's important for, like, it got a lot of people to play Xbox and whatever, right? But it's like, what's a more influential first-person shooter? Is that the most influential first-person shooter? Is it fucking Doom? Is it Quake? Right? Because Quake was fucking mind-blowing back in the day. You know, like yeah, Quake was huge. Yeah, they now made like, Deathmatch. Yeah, it's like non-existent today, but yeah. Except for I mean, <laughs> people started playing more, right? Because they, they there's the RTX version of Quake, mm. and people were like, <laughs> like <laughs> you know, fucking Joe Rogan played that shit. Like, Quake, yeah, like hardcore. Jesus. I wouldn't put it past him. He see, he seems like the type that probably <laughs> would. Yeah, yeah, he does. <laughs> he yeah. really does. Either way, is he playing it in between fucking episodes of Fear Factor? 
<laughs> but, but yeah, like right. I think that's the better question. Is like, do, do we pick what's the most influential per genre? Because like Metal Gear Solid One is probably tied with being the most influential for stealth games. for stealth games as Splinter Cell One, right? Because Metal Gear Solid was like, oh, cool, like you can sneak around and do whatever. The first one, mm-hmm. but then Splinter Cell added the whole like oh, shit, here's the light gauge, you know? Here's the, like, all of this other stuff you can do. And then they kind of, you know, jumped at each other to, like, top each other until yeah. Splinter Cell died. And then, but Metal Gear 4 just Splinter became an action getting another game, game so. isn't it? What are you saying, Noah? Splinter Cell's getting another game, isn't it? Is it? I, th- uh, I think so. I think it is. It, they've, been, they've been teasing. Because I know he was in that, what, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Black Watch or whatever. He was a playable character. He's in Rainbow Six Siege. Hmm. Um, so they've been, like, teasing that they're like, we might bring him back. I'd play it, probably, if it had co op. Sure. But, yeah, and it's like, because cause then, what, with the first-person shooters, do we say GoldenEye, because holy shit? Or do we say... <laughs> Quake? Like Medal of Honor. Yeah. Like, war shooters. Because I, I think there's, like, different lanes. Yeah, because they all influenced differently, Yeah, I'd say. Cause can you? Cause you, could you even call Quake the most influential if it created it? Hmm. Cause then it's like it, it didn't. Like Unreal inf- Tournament. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Did yeah, Doom come out before Quake? Quake though. Yeah. 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 Doom came out. The same people. Yeah. Yeah. Did, have either of you ever read the book Masters of Doom? It's a fucking amazing read. Mm-mm. It's about how Doom got made, and like it talks about the whole fucking history of like. They would steal the computers at the place that they worked at to work on Doom at home, <laughs> like overnight, and then they'd have to bring them back in at four a.m. before what like other people came in because they had the best computers and they were like, "We need to make this." But if we if we like, we can't make it on the clock because we're making games for them for money. Right. But we can't let them know that we're making this because they'll take the idea and yeah. then they'll fuck us because wow. we know we have something special. And dude, it was fucking nuts. And they also had a crazy brotastic fucking work environment because there's just like six dudes, but they just break keyboards every day while they were playing. And there'd be corners of the room where there'd be like fifteen smashed keyboards. For <laughs> and then I think Romero, the long-haired one of the Johns, he uh, he locked himself in his room on accident. He was like, "Help! Somebody get a screwdriver, take the hinges off. I gotta piss." And like John Carmack never like joined in. He's the one who programmed everything. He never joined in on any of their fun bullshit. And they all played D&D together because they're fucking losers. And then he went to get a screwdriver and he almost like started taking off the screws. And then he was like, wait, I just, that battle axe that I ordered came in like last week. And then all of them were like, go, 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 go. As he literally battle axed <laughs> his friend's door off. And John was like, you're my savior. And like went to the bathroom and they were all like, whoa. <laughs> And it just sounds like a wild ride. And they talk about Quake and everything, too. And they talk about two dudes were setting up servers with people. Mm. And they were like, hey, we'll, we'll give you some money to set up servers in this place for all the people around you to play money and whatever, right? And like, but, but we'll make the money of people playing it, but we'll set it up for you. And they were like, yeah, sure, sounds great. Like, we'll, we'll get a cut, right? And they're like, absolutely. And then, like, they were able to buy, like, fucking Lambos and shit from setting up these servers. Just this yeah. random group. And they were like dropping thousands of dollars in a strip club and the like the strippers were like damn what do you guys do and they're like we sell deathmatch and like the strippers were like that's got to be one hell of a drug yeah <laughs> it's like they're like, you know and yeah. it's like fuck like that shit's wild to me but damn man so is doom the most influential first person shooter like it's it's weird yeah. this is an intent like a what, tough conversation what genre is pokemon is that just RPG? It's more of a JRPG. Yeah. It's turn-based combat. If you want to put it into a compartment, it's probably like pet-based RPG or yeah. some shit. Because I feel like Pokemon is like a hugely influential game as well. Mm-hmm. I mean, well, it depends it? on how you want to define it because like there's nobody doing really what Pokemon does. A lot like, of Pokemon gonna, ripoff gonna... games. Yeah, Are there? but... Yeah, on your phone? <laughs> like you can find Yeah, but like there's a difference between that and like battlefield and call of duty existing yeah. right like there's a billion shooters but like there's nothing else that's like even close to near what pokemon is and if you say what you're thinking right now i'll fucking stab you monster rancher no that's fine 
you can say Persona or SMT. Uh, and I was going to be like, <laughs> nah, it's different. <laughs> I don't know. It just seems like whoever tried to copy what Pokemon did just did it so bad or the Pokemon community just doesn't care and they only want their mm-hmm. Pokemon. See, I, I think that's more so because of the designs than the actual gameplay. Because Pokemon games aren't fun to play. Like, you know what I mean? Especially the the no. combat isn't good. Because you don't have many options. But, like, mm. the designs are timeless. They just are. Like, even yeah. the ones now, they're fucking gonna... They're good. People are gonna remember them for their yeah. entire lives. And I think it's more the design and the feel. Yeah. It's honestly kind of weird that there hasn't been anything that's come close. Yeah. And I don't know why that is exactly. It's probably because it's so big, they know they have no shot. Right. I, I like, honestly, it's probably fear. Yeah. It's like, are you going to spend two years, two to five years by, like, making a game that's a copy of the most popular game worldwide? <laughs> and yeah, like, but, like, people nowadays, people can it. do this better, though. Oh, absolutely. A hundred percent. Pokemon seems to be just, like, skimping on, like, features and whatever. Well, isn't there that Temtem game that people I were playing for a while? That. that was like on Steam. I heard it was good. Yeah, same. I didn't play it myself, but I know people liked it. People were yeah. repping that for a while, but I guess it, that's the thing, right? It just doesn't have staying power, right? Unless they make a Temtem two until a new Pokemon comes out. Yeah, and Pokemon's also smart because every single one of their sales is two sales. Yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> you see the like shining diamond and whatever. Brilliant, brilliant diamond, shining pearl are just literally the same ROM. It's just there's a flag that tells you what version of the game you're playing. Really? Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> yeah. That's not surprising. <laughs> also, I found out that's not made by Pokemon Company. Is game it free? Not? No. Yeah. Yeah. Game free. It's not made by them. They they outsourced that one. Nice. And it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> we gotta put our efforts in Arceus. Exactly. <laughs> With and you can, you can see that it shows, you know? Dude. <laughs> Most of those designs look bad. They're like garbage. The... What, you don't like them ruining my favorite Pokemon in the world? It's my I absolute mean, favorite? He's probably not attached to Scyth- Scyther. No, he is. They talked about it. Did they? Yeah, he's like a pre-thing of Scyther or some shit now. That's just a thing that's attached to Scyther. So fucking dumb looking. So bad. Whatever. <laughs> So never mind. It seems like this conversation is impossible. Yeah, because there's so many. Yeah. I think. yeah, it depends on how you want to define it. Because mm-hmm. because then you'd have to. Because I think if you go with influential, you can look at it. What influenced the most, and then mm-hmm. it would be the first. And if it's not the first, then it's what influenced the most, not counting the first. And it's like, well, shit, you know. Mm-hmm. It's it's wild. Yeah. It's a good conversation. I just think we don't have the knowledge and expertise yeah there isn't enough like <laughs> boundary yeah to like contain this conversation exactly that's all i got that's all i, got. <laughs> I thought we'll be able to figure it out but <laughs> I, it I loved out. your faith your faith made me happy darius but i was like we'll make a top 10 list of course <laughs> mario's gonna be up there but you know we'll see what we can get i didn't know it said fifa i'm like we're probably not going to get anywhere with this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's great. It's so good. <laughs> Shit. Shit. I don't know what to talk about. I just started, like, playing. I turned on Fallout 4 the last I, two days. I saw that. Yeah. And I was surprised because I thought you hated Fallout 4. Or didn't you, I don't you think didn't I hate, hate it. it. Yeah, you didn't hate it, but... I think i finished it on ps4 i don't know i just been like trying to play or i had a hankering to play have you made a dino city yet no i like just started it like i just finished looting sanctuary mm-hmm. he asked that question because he played for two years and didn't fucking get to diamond city oh yeah yeah he, kept, <laughs> he did every other thing on the map and we were like there he is they keep giving you shit yeah <laughs> yeah oh, my. that's true yeah, I had like all the DLCs, and then Dan helped me set up some mods, so that was cool. I, 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 okay, I got a question. I got yeah. a question for both of you guys. Mm-hmm. This is like, I guess this is part two of my conversation. The way I play video games, mm-hmm. especially like RPGs, is 
if you give me options to do everything else except the main quest, mm. I'm gonna do everything else except the main quest. Perfect example: Final Fantasy 15. Uh, they give you a big map, and you can find legendary story weapons in hidden caves. Mm-hmm. So, which you can't do until chapter two or something. Yeah, there's a guy that tells you about them, and then he gives you the key. Yeah, when the map lost. opens up, it, the map was, opens up chapter two or chapter three. Mm-hmm. Chapter two, chapter three. Once I randomly found one of those caves, I went around the whole entire map to find every fucking weapon. Yeah. And I was level, I don't know, 40 by the time I hit chapter three. Shit. And uh, there are 15 chapters in this game. Damn. So. And, and like, I was, you know, 40 hours, 50 hours in. Mm-hmm. And then same with Fallout. Um, they told me to go to Diamond That's like Quest 3. Mm-hmm. Like, yo, go to Diamond City. And I'm as I'm traveling to Diamond City, I just keep finding shit and like keep, you know, doing all these side quests and be like, oh, it's over here. Oh, it's over there. And I became so powerful in Fallout 4 that it like wasn't really even fun anymore. Yeah. And same thing's happening to me in Yakuza mm-hmm. where I do every side quest I can get. And then now... I'm on chapter 10 of Yakuza, and I'm, <laughs> I'm just pushing people in the face. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. It's just like, <laughs> it's, there's like no challenge here. The game's been on hard for the last 40 hours, yeah. and it's not hard. Yep. Yeah, I was going to talk about that, too. Is that bad game design, or am I playing the games wrong? Because I feel like you gave me the option. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do it. So, it's- yeah, it's interesting, because like... They can kind of plan for that, and it's kind of tangented, but WoW has done that recently, in that the world scales with you. So, like, mm-hmm. you can kind of pass your way any way you want through the content, and it'll always be at that kind of difficulty. They only did that in the last, like, two expansions, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. So, like, it used to be where, like, you have a set path to go, and you have to hit these areas in order, or else, like, you can't really do it. But now you can like pick any area in the map and it'll be at your level. Is that still fun? I think so. Do you feel it's like you're getting more powerful way. if everything scales with you? Yeah. Well, I mean, like in WoW, it's a bit different because you kind of only don't get that powerful until you start doing raids. So it's just like trying to get yourself raid ready and then you just get raid gear and then you kind of just smash everything. You do know I never played my MMO, so you're like you, you gotta talk to me and like. All right. I don't really know. Uh, I, I I truly don't understand what a raid is. A okay. raid is it's end game content. Yep. So it's like 40, 20, a 20 bunch to of 40, bosses. Right? Uh, people. Or is it re- recently, it's they've cut it down. Okay. Like are these in Burning Crusade, it was like forty people. Yeah. Are these like the ridiculous. things that takes like three to six hours to do? Sometimes longer, yeah. depending. But yeah, but sometimes so less as well. They're just you, dungeon. Are you familiar with the a dungeon? Yeah. So in, I guess in, like in WoW, you would in say like MMO the, turns would, no. Would the caves in Final Fantasy 15 be considered like a dungeon? Yes. Okay. Because like bosses it's, and stuff. Yeah, there's a tough enemy near the end and a lot of ads in the beginning. Sure. So like, f- think like it's a dungeon, but with like every boss being like an end game boss, instead of like. A special enemy i guess so it's just like so it's like harder mechanics hard shit. they hit harder you like you need better stuff in order to do it that's usually like a d uh, uh, armor check and dps check yeah. is, is so what so the terms are and you said everything things. scales with you and wow yeah up but you until still feel point. powerful as your planet if everything scales with you yeah i mean i guess you could argue that like you're still always kind of weak but it also like you're like how can i say this it in wow it's more so like optimizing how you play the game as opposed to like just hitting buttons i guess because like there's a certain (laughs) there's like it's like the difference between hitting buttons and then hitting buttons in the right order correctly it's a difference between mashing in an in a, in a fighting game and learning the tech. Yeah. Okay. 
Like, and that's you, you that's can, more you can, of like so you're saying you, you can mash cool. through regular WoW, but once you get to end game stuff, shit. you have to know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. Because the story of WoW and for MMOs in general is they want the most amount of people possible to beat it, so you can face roll your keyboard generally mm-hmm. and beat the story content. But the meat of MMOs, like where the real it's like people care. coordinated raids, exactly. Yeah. And that is like the super dungeon. You have to learn rotations RPG. and all of that. You, like you can get through most of the content, not necessarily not knowing what you're doing, but like you don't have to be like perfect rotations for your abilities. But like that's you're like What's missing out on. Is uh, the order of the abilities correctly? Okay. Yeah. Watching your cooldown so you know what moves to use, and then you can start at the ability. That when is it, done with the cooldown right. and keep it going. Like, okay. you don't necessarily need to do that in order to beat stuff, but that's probably closer to, like, being, like... That matters a bit more than your gear, hmm. at least at a certain point. Okay. So, but, to, to, to answer your question from my angle, unless hmm. you had more to go uh, with yours. I, I guess I'm done. Oh, you go. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me feel bad. Oh, I, I don't know, like, where else to talk, I guess. Right, okay. Yeah, springboard off me whenever, yeah. for sure. Um, it's column A, column B, because it's up to you. It's Halloween. That, that's the best way to put it. You have all of your candy, and it's you can eat it all at once, but you have to know that it's going to hurt your stomach. But you can have all that right now but you'll know that you won't have fun at the end of it by eating your whole bag. Yeah, but at the same time, it's a game developer's job to guide me. But they have to guide 10 million people. And none of them are you. Dark Souls does a good good job at it. Dark Souls isn't trying to get as many people as possible. (laughs) Dark Souls is a different game. Dark Souls doesn't care about you. (laughs) <laughs> Dark Souls says that we set this difficulty at what it is. If you can't beat it, fuck off. Final Fantasy wants you to beat the game. Dark Souls doesn't give a fuck after they got your money. <laughs> Final <laughs> Fantasy has a story to tell. Dark Souls is gonna kiss kiss your mouth. <laughs> it's gonna kiss your mom in front of you. So, right? so with, with Fallout, then yes, is that them? Fallout doesn't care after they get your money. But in a different way. That's why if difficulty in Fallout sucks and nobody likes it because yeah. all that you all that the happens when you set it to hard. Majority of RPGs are just the beginning's hard, but once you get gear, you're just like steamrolling shit. Exactly. And if you're not steamrolling shit on the harder difficulties, it's because they gave them 400% HP, and you're fighting the same enemy for three times as long with a better gun. Yeah, all of the enemies are kind of the same. Exactly. They either shoot or punch you. Yep. And it's fun for the an hour. Yeah. The the bugs are why I play fun. Sure. But but yeah, so it's it's one of those things where it's it is up to a certain extent on the developer, but depending on the game, it's up to your self control to know to path yourself so that if you want a challenge, that's it, right? If yeah. you want a challenge, you can't be upset when you over leveled yourself. Cause they have to let anyone beat the game basically at any level. You know, which is why Breath of the Wild is so shitty on repeat playthroughs Mm. is because there's every boss can be beaten at zero. So it's not as fun when you realize that Mm. because it's like the older Zelda games are each dungeon gets progressively more difficult because you have more items. So it's harder to beat them. But Breath of the Wild is they expect any of the bosses to be boss number one, including Ganon. So every one of them is possible to be beaten with slightly lower gear. Mm. And so they didn't really design them to be tough for you later. So it depends on the game and how the game cares about you. Exactly. <laughs> and I wonder, then that's, I wonder how you could like fix that problem. It's it's tough, right? Because yeah. like, you also want the player to feel strong for doing that kind of stuff. Yep. And you also want to make sure that the person wants to buy your next game. Yeah. <laughs> and that's kind of rough, right? Because it's like th- they struck gold from struck gold with like the Soul series mm-hmm. because masochists decided they wanted to get their dick stepped on more. And they went, oh, you do? <laughs> okay. Weird, but we'll uh, provide. Here's the boot. You know? <laughs> what if they started like level capping? 
level capping four areas or, or something like story progression no. yeah but then you'd feel then it like dairy maybe it right. like would bank the experience you earn because you could no. story wise make reasons why your character isn't strong to a point mm-hmm. right like because if you're unlocking abilities they can like learn to unlock their own limits that's not a bad way to handle it mm-hmm. but then they'd have to make it really obvious that you're banking xp yeah right they'd have to tell you explicitly because that would be better for you, right? If you couldn't get past level 20 until you got to a point in the story, but it made sense. So you hit level 20, you kept getting XP, but you didn't actually increase. Yeah. Would, would you be comfortable with that? Like, um, would you be happier? It would force me to, to go to Diamond City, so yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> I would have been, I would have went to Diamond City, yeah. Yeah. I would, yeah, I, I would, as long as you keep my XP, I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah, as long as it's not a waste. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah. then my crazy ass would just be like, I'm baking it though. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but then the problem is is like once you up the cap, you're already at like max level again. Mm-hmm. And that's I guess yeah. And then yeah, you wouldn't even want to. Yeah. But like it I guess it would just like open it like gates content for you. So like you can't go to like level 40 area when you're level 20 so you're like oh shit i should probably progress the story so that i can enter this new area that Mm -hmm. i can't handle because of that reason yeah and that's super good final fantasy 15 didn't really do that right well they tried that's the problem because because but then you and i are the problem because you know what happens at night in final fantasy 15 because you didn't play it right uh yeah i played like the first hour or two okay so at night you can't drive your car anymore, and a big dick fucker enemy drops down who's, like, way stronger than you are. Mm. But Darius and I want to fucking grind our teeth. And we go, I bet <laughs> I'm good enough. In his face. Yeah, yeah, I'm good enough. I can beat that enemy. And Darius and I beat that enemy. It may take 20 to 15 minutes. 15 to 20 minutes, but you could do it. Yep. And then what happens after you beat that is they were smart. They were like, okay, cool. We have another version of this enemy. If they beat it, the next time that enemy spawns, we'll drop down the level 50 version. Mm. And when that happened, I went, but I I could beat the first one. I can. I bet I can do this one too. And then I did that too. Yeah. Right? So the, the only difference is that like I didn't get super overpowered because I did the same thing you did. But I looked at the map and I went, I'll map out my path and I'll make this corkscrew and i'll hit the points you know and if if there's a story thing in front of me i'll activate it mm. and that's what i did um, yeah I, I intentionally don't do the story yeah <laughs> and that's that's the problem is like it's definitely partially on the developer mm. but i feel like it's a larger bit of self-control on the player because if they know if they're too overpowered they won't have fun then th- you should try to dial your own playstyle back, which isn't fun. I, I admit, right? Because it's Last of Us for me. It's why I couldn't get into it. The brick. The brick. It's too good. <laughs> the brick kills every enemy, including the one-hit kill clickers. Why should I be? Why should I use a gun? Why should I sneak? I can just walk around with a fucking brick in my hand and a heart on, and I win every fight. <laughs> And it's not the fault of the game. I know that, right? Like, I'm like, ah, I've got options, but this one's the fun one. And uh, that's on me. You know, I, I I know that I, like, I fucked that game. So up I'm ruining the, game, the games for myself. Exactly. <laughs> it is, to a certain point, up to the developer, though. I absolutely agree mm-hmm. that they should they should try something. And if that something doesn't work... It's their fault for make me us. find these fucking locker keys in Yakuza and ma- give me 20 sub-story quests... So by the time I'm done with Chapter 5, I can't level up Kiryu anymore. That's their fault, James. Hey, hey, hey. Don't, make, don't let me fight. Hey, 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 hey. hey. <laughs> Sub-stories in the Yakuza games unlock over chapters. They only unlock like five to six at a time. You're the one who spent 32 hours in the Hostess Club because you could. That's on you. <laughs> the Hostess Club's fun. Yeah, you're goddamn right it is. <laughs> That's what Trisha and I did, too. I can't complain. <laughs> All my girls are maxed out. Yeah. All of them. Nice. Yeah. Even the non-platinum hostesses. Yeah. What? Uh, the the bronze ones aren't, but the silver and gold ones are. What the fuck? What? You don't need to go that hard. <laughs> you 
You don't need to go that hard at all. You got to take care of him, dude. Well, remember I told you I couldn't, uh, I, I didn't realize I could play with Yuki's. Yuki. <laughs> so I leveled up one and then I was like, fuck, I can level up this girl. But the other girl's already maxed out. And it's like, why use the maxed out girls? Might as well use the gold and silver girls who need levels yep. just in case I need them. I and don't need them. I never knew. You them. never needed them. You need exactly enough gold to fill in the spots. And then you give them their check and tell them never to come back. Yeah. You're right. But yeah. I, and and just on the topic of like Souls games, because we were talking about it. Mm-hmm. They, their, their method of figuring it out was maps to your ball game. It's open. Yeah. If you can swing that sword and dodge that hit. Go wherever you, you never want. feel like strong in Dark Souls. Yeah, which is unless you know where stuff is and you well, can get yeah, that's like early. knowledge. Yeah. So, yeah, knowing patterns, I guess, is like different. I would mm. think because like there's opinion. there's stupid shit in Dark Souls One where like you can make a jump to get a super duper strong weapon way too early, mm. but I feel like that's a different thing, right? Because that that's yeah. game breaking. Right. I don't think it's game breaking. Because, like, if you can't dodge correctly, you're still going to die. That's like, true. Like, that sword doesn't win you a boss fight. True. But it, it can if it does a fifth of a boss's damage for the first two hours, you true. know? Like, it, it's it's a little bit different. But I, I know what you mean. Yeah. Like, it'll still beat your ass if your technical skills yeah. aren't up to par. I, always, I felt always weak in Sekiro as yeah. well. Yeah, Sekiro like does it really well. Mm-hmm. I was always... You could like argue prosthetics behind. are pretty strong, but even then they don't. There's a like limited number of yeah. those like prosthetics. Mm. You best believe it, I use every one of those so, sort Saint Shishin or yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah. I was out. <laughs> I remember telling James, I was like, James, God gave us firecrackers to heal. <laughs> 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 so he taught him to let you heal. Because when he jumps at you, you go, firecracker. Yeah. I need to heal. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking shaking. With that gourd <laughs> to your lips, uh, yeah, dude. I and and that's that's the beauty of those games is that they don't care about you. Yeah, and it's like either you get good, or you just don't see it, and that's fine. You don't need to see the boss, dude. You can give up. Mm-hmm. It's just a game, and people are like, "It's not a game. <laughs> <laughs> this is real." Oh. <laughs> uh. I mean, it sucks that like I I need that that hardness to make me yeah, yeah that stop that that <laughs> makes me drop games like if I'm like a few out or like halfway through the story like I don't care if I'm just steamrolling shit mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like I'll just drop it. Do you feel like you're missing out if you drop games like that though? Because like some games could be good. I don't know if I feel like I'm missing out when i think i play the game for the challenge inherently yeah Yeah, because if if you have won you won yeah if nothing else is really going to give you a challenge like like a a ghost is an obvious thing here is you're right when i was playing ghosts i turned the difficulty up and i still was trouncing things and i was in it for the story just because i cared enough Mm. But, like, I could absolutely have seen myself going, I got it. Yeah. And just never looking back. Yeah, I think I played on, like, Lethal the whole time. Yep. Which is, like, almost one shot, which is super fun. And I still almost dropped it. Yeah. And I also just didn't use Shinobi tools because they're <laughs> fucking broken. Yeah. They they ruin that game. You can yeah. take out an entire area just using your fucking throwables. Yeah. And you're just like, oh, well, I didn't have a sword fight. Yeah. And that's the funnest part of the game. Yep. I know, like, Tyler plays a game, like, optimizing outfits and stuff, mm. but I just played fashion, and I just wore the Ronin outfit with the straw hat, <laughs> and I was like, that's all I need. <laughs> yep. I, I did the same thing, except I used the Traveler's outfit. Mm. I did everything in the Traveler's outfit, because I cared about collecting everything, but I didn't really, I was like, I'll fight Weekend, Yeah. because I want to just be better than them. Yep, that, that's exactly <laughs> how I played it. Like, I... Not that I don't look for advantages, but I definitely play to like challenge myself. Yeah, I only switched to armor if it was if I was getting my ass completely too hard handed handed mm-hmm. like to me during the one on ones. That's the oh, only sure. time that I switched to give myself a little bit more defense because I went, 
okay, I'm not learn. I'm not quick enough to learn what I'm doing wrong sure. right now. So I need a little bit more defense just to give me two more extra hits on my health bar right. to let me learn his timing. And that was all. Oh, that was it. Every other time, I was just using the traveler's gear. Mm. But yeah, yeah that was all I got. Yeah, <laughs> it's 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 a rough it's a rough thing for sure. Yeah. Cause like especially in just level based RPGs. Yep. I I bought a bunch of the DLC for SMT5 just because I knew I'd I'd buy it, and uh, I was kind of upset because there's there's stuff that gives you like way quicker level ups and a lot of money yeah, and whatever. Like yeah, and like I in SMT4 you could choose to go to that area, and if you went to that area, you like the the enemies there all helped you out, but you could choose to go. In this one. It's a toggle in the options, and those enemies just spawn in way greater numbers in normal gameplay. Mm -hmm. And, like, I didn't realize at first because it's just active initially. And I was like, man, I feel like I'm getting way too many. Like, I'm, I'm like, level 12, and my demons are all, like, level 7, which is, like, a big deal because enemies give you, like, 24 to 50 XP, and it takes, like, 400 to level up. And then I realized that I had all those active, and I was like, whoa, I need to turn these the fuck off. Like, because I want to play the game and use my brain. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, if I need to grind, I'll turn them back on to make that less of a time sink. But holy shit, the fact that these were active initially was a mistake. Yeah. So. I kind of had that issue with Deathloop. I, like, pre-ordered it, so I got some, like, guns or whatever. But one of the guns you get is a silenced pistol. And that shit breaks the game. Yeah, it's you were you were so saying. so strong. I still used it, and it's my fault for using it. But like looking back, it definitely took some fun out of the game. Because mm -hmm. you don't have to learn nearly as much when you can silently remove people. Yeah. Like <laughs> early in the game, away. you get like a nail gun, which is a silenced weapon, but it's like charge shot, mm -hmm. and it's way worse than the pistol. But yeah, it's fair. I don't know. Fuck. Even like. Reaching the end game, you become too strong, and that's kind of the point. Like you earn those abilities, mm -hmm. but I still feel like I want the game to be harder. Yeah, and then I guess like God, you just want every game to just dude like pound I, you I to need the, ground, the challenge, you? dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, Darius, I ruined you a bit too, right? Because yes, why, you did. Why aren't you having fun with Yakuza? Because you would have had fun playing Yakuza's story mode if you were still the same Darius before playing every Souls game. Yeah. Because it's it's there's a dumb fucking comic that I I, I should try to find. And uh This is your fault, James. Yeah, you're you're welcome. Uh, don't tell me that. Why? Because I made your life better? Yes. Uh fuck you. God damn it. <laughs> oh of course that didn't bring up Spider Man. Why did that come <laughs> up when I typed Dark Souls food comic? <laughs> It's the um, it's up there, isn't it? It's that first one. I play Sekiro. No, it's not that one. It's uh. I don't think it was Dark Souls. I think it was more Sekiro than Dark Souls. Yeah, it's this this comic. If this comes up well, yeah, read it. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't even the fucking comic. What? Why is that not the image I clicked? <laughs> Sorry, James. <laughs> it's fine um just explain a comic yeah I, I i'm gonna have to uh so it's it's a comic of like normal games and it's a waiter br brings the game he goes to the table and it's like a dude who like um 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 and then he's sitting and he looks pretty like dissatisfied after he ate his meal and then the the, the comic like shows like dark souls and it's the waiter has the food and he won't give it to you and you have to like you fight the fucking waiter for the food and he's, like, jumping over the table trying to fight the waiter. And he finally gets the food. And he's, like, super satisfied while he's eating the food. And he's, like, yes, I took the food. It's my food. Yeah. And it's, like, th that level is what you get from. Because I'm not saying Dark Souls is for everybody. No. And it's okay for you not to play it. Yeah. Like, it's okay if it's too hard. I, I personally don't think those games need easy modes because it's not the point. Yeah. But, but it's okay that you don't play them. But that's what Dark Souls gave to me, right? Is, like... I feel more exhilaration from beating a boss that stepped on my face 20 times mm -hmm. than I ever have from just, like, beating Pokemon. Yeah. It can be the, the fucking first boss. 
But Dark Souls also gave me something beautiful in that I, when I played Dark Souls 3, I got that same amount of joy and exhilaration from beating the first boss my first try. Because I was like, I did it. I knew its patterns. I've learned the knowledge. <laughs> I, 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 he didn't touch me. You can't hurt me anymore. Yeah. And I was like, I'm a god. Yeah. And then immediately I get slammed by like the next boss or whatever because I'm like, oh shit, this is new. Oh god. But it's like, <laughs> I can find that joy in both of them. Mm. But like Persona 5 depressed the shit out of me when I beat the boss because I did more damage to myself than he ever did to me. And I was like, that's wrong, man. Yeah. Like he was doing like 50 damage to me and I was using HP attacks that used 300 of mine to fuck him over. Jesus. And then I would just heal. And I'm like, you are doing one sixth the damage I'm doing to myself. What are you? Are you an, are you a challenge? <laughs> like, and I'm choosing to do the HP attacks. I don't have to use Fizz. I'm just doing it because it'll kill you quicker. Mm -hmm. And it's like that's a fucking mistake. Wow, that's yeah, just. But that's, it's, that's also probably why Nuzlocke exists. Exactly. Yeah, player made challenges. challenges. Yeah. Just thinking about playing some. I watched like some Nuzlocke runs like months ago, and some dude plays with like set mode on. Which also sounds pretty hard. Set mode? Yeah, yeah. set it's, mode. Uh, it doesn't allow you to switch Pokemon uh, on opponent faint. Oh. So you kind of always have to like switch into an attack. Mm. That seems that seems like a good thing. Yeah. Anyway. I definitely like that. I think I'll just like play vanilla Pokemon games like that. I'm trying, I know. <laughs> well, did you have anything else, No. I don't know. Not really, I guess. My life's boring. It's alright, so is mine. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know anyone whose life is exciting? <laughs> I'm sure, like, billionaires' lives are pretty exciting. Yeah. yeah. Nah. They're probably in their house hoarding their money like dragons. <laughs> Would you not willingly fucking... McScrooge your way into some money if you were a billionaire though like come on I would totally hoard my money like a dragon and swim <laughs> like you couldn't even swim into like coins no no <laughs> fucking break your bones <laughs> this comic is good it's, it's basically the same thing but it's just yeah. different if you've never read it there is no no yeah, it's fantastic right, you guys ready to talk about my my witch academia yep 100% Little, little, little witch academia. Ah! The chat. This is 11 to 20, yeah? Yeah, my witch had academia, my bad. Yeah, my witch had academia. <laughs> I actually, fuck, I typed Italian. academia instead of Italian. <laughs> uh, uh, fuck me. You all right? No, I'm having a fucking connection over here. <laughs> okay, so this one uh, starts off roughly where we ended, where, mm -hmm. oh no, Coco's trapped underneath a rock. How are we going to do this? She without is the... a trap. It's true. The, civilian's trip. the civilian's little boy trap. is trapped, yeah. yeah. She's just down with him. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's like, oh, what do we do? Uh, I can't use ma She can't use magic because she doesn't know too much. She mm -hmm. might not know what to do. I can't use magic up here because the people will absolutely see what both of us do. Uh, what do we do? So, um, you remember her name? Bitch girl. That's what I was Sasuke. calling her. Uh, Sasuke. Uh, Agatha. Agatha? That's a good name for a witch. Uh, so Agatha, uh, shoots out a glowing bird mm. and being like, magic is cool. Look, at, look, look, everybody. <laughs> and they look all at look, the bird. Because they're simpletons. They're mm. absolute fucking they're like, simpletons. Ooh, pretty bird. <laughs> and, uh, Coco is able to... Rise to the occasion and yeah, use she... the stone dissolving spell yeah. that they use to escape from the dragon, like to run the dragon around mm -hmm. to get rid of the rock. And then she just safely floats up and out. Yep. And then boom, and motherfuckers! The, my favorite in. part of this whole entire thing, the police come. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> they came so fucking fast. They, though, they were like fucking that. And they're just like, hold up, hold up. That ain't right. Yeah. yeah. She dissolved all the water. Yeah. This, the land. It's turning the water, into sand. It's all yeah. sand. And they're, they're just like, you using, you using some illegal shit, ain't you? 
And Kakashi comes and is like, see you later. <laughs> Oh, dude, it, it, before Kakashi shows up, it's great because the witch is like, "Don't you fucking worry. I'm gonna, we're gonna call this even season. You're not even gonna remember shit. You won't even be sad." And yeah. she's just like, hand to face, and she's just like, ah. <laughs> and then yeah, Kakashi yeah. rolls up, and it's like, "Hold up, she wasn't using anything illegal. Prove it." And the, he, Kakashi knows the guy. He calls him like yeah. Joseph or something. He's yeah. like, "Hold up, Jacob. You don't you." You you don't know what the fuck she's using. Prove it. Jacob's like, uh, uh. I gotta look into this. I gotta investigate. Who else could have done it? Right. (laughs) And then he's like, "Can you draw the spell?" And she's like, "Of course I can." And they're like, "Yeah, just dissolve the rock." Yeah. Fuck. Fuck. We're dumb. Fuck. God fucking damn it. And then they're like, "We'll get you next time, kids." Mm. And they float away. And I was telling Jay, this bullshit because they showed up so fucking fast. They could have helped the people because they, well, they showed up immediately, man. I guess so. Well, <laughs> I think they just showed up because of the bird spell yeah. immediately, and then they were like, "This is not good." No, maybe, maybe it just yeah. like help them get there. I guess I don't know. And they they there's the because the person uses magic to fix their cloak immediately. Mm, like the banner the banner yeah and uh the person's like hey can you fix his leg you can do it instantly right and they're like no we can't they're like but you can fix that thing instantly and they're like magic can't be used this yeah. way like it can't sorry do you want me to not take him to the hospital and they're like well, <laughs> <All> good <right. laughs> shut him down so quick yeah <laughs> so they take him to the hospital and that's the end of it basically and you get to see that oh shit the entire river is turning into sand kind of and like the fucking they're like we stopped it but this whole area is changed forever again because of magic fuck Mm -hmm. like we got to deal with this now fuck it's bullshit and uh kakashi sees that uh he's like this ink is a little weird yeah it's like blue tinted or something yep go to sleep little girls i'm gonna go in my room and uh, figure out what this, this is ink is. After. Yeah, he doesn't do that yet. Oh, he he he. He goes to the uh, ink wand guy. shop. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And he yeah, we find out that the teacher's not really that cool of a person. Nope. He is. <laughs> he's a, got shit going on. He's a piece of trash. Because <laughs> he's like, oh shit, this is super ultra magic ink. Kind of, it's weird. Mm. What the fuck? And they're like, yeah, this is also a well, double he model. He didn't know what it was uh, at first. He was like, Can, do you know what this is? And he's like, I don't know, it's kind of weird. It looks like the same ink that was on the tiles. And, and then he did like the small light spell that like kind of blew up illuminated the everything. <laughs> yeah. And made a like explosion because mm-hmm. it knocked shit off walls. Yeah. yeah. And uh, that's when they also realize because they're like, oh, it should be full. Or like it, it, I, it, Coco's like, I use some of this. Why is it full? Oh, well, I'm just a ditzy. Yeah. And the dude's like, give me that fucking bottle. I mean, can you please hand me that bottle, little girl? <laughs> and then it's like, this is a fucking double bottle. This this is technology mm. that the uh, other witches took that we don't know. This is a this is my clue, basically. Mm. And uh, we also see a dope scene of the brim hat. like it's, Cutting his hand. Yeah. And putting it, his blood into the uh, thing. And it's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> well, we also learned there that uh, different things can be mixed into the ink to change its effects, like being waterproof or being able to glow in the dark and stuff like that. Yep, yep, and being able to like be put on stone and other things too. I think they they talk mm. about some cool shit. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so that's also when we meet uh, Darius. Keeps calling him Tartar, so I, I'm that pretty is, sure that's right. That is his name. Yeah, there you go, Darius. You yeah, remember? Hey. You respected this kid. Yeah. You have to learn his name. <laughs> <laughs> you know that puts him above Ed and Al. For Darius's right. favorite characters in manga, <laughs> he remembered his name. Uh, <laughs> but we find out that uh, Coco's having a fucking fun. Oh my god, all this shit is super crazy. Yeah. And Tartar's like, "Hey, he's just naming off all the inks and stuff." Yeah. And you kind of get your first little thing where she's like, "What about that one, the red one?" He's, yeah, he's like, like, "What shelf's it on?" Yeah. He's like, "It was a red one." He's like, what shelf? Yeah. He's like, why you can't see this? And then the boom happens yeah. and all the jars fall. And she's like, I'll help. What colors go where? And he's like, you can't help me. Fucking leave. Yeah. And she's like, what? And he's like, it's it's fine. It's not your fault. You cannot help me. You gotta go. I'll mm. wait until the old man's ready. Do they? Like, 
I I know what the condition is. Yeah. It's not like really real kind of, but it it's a real condition, but like the way that it affects him isn't right, right. how it is in the real world. But I don't think they ever like explain. Well, I guess it's just like silver shimmer over his eyes, so it's yeah. hard for him to distinguish stuff. Except I think what they say is that it's not just a silver shimmer, it's that everything has a sh- silver haze on it. Mm-hmm. So he can't see color, period. Something like the Yeah, or he can't see correct colors or yeah. something. Um, but yeah, so when the old man comes down, because the, the Kakashi's like, you cannot tell anyone about this. And he's like, but we need to fucking tell the people. Yeah. This is important. Like, this is fucked up. And he's like, like, the I... ink master is like, this ink is fucked up, dude. <laughs> yeah. Like, this is forbidden for sure. Yeah, that's some broke shit. <laughs> so uh, he's like, if you fucking, if you fucking say a goddamn word about this, I'll fucking cut you. He's like, it's... well, I'm gonna say many words about this. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> and so he like Kakashi ar- fucking strong arms him to be like, you shut your goddamn. No, old he wipes mouth. his memory. Does he? Yeah. Oh. He doesn't remember the light at all. I thought that was him. I th- being yeah, cold. I thought he was lying. No. <laughs> oh shit! I didn't catch that at yeah, all. Yeah, I he thought definitely he wiped his memory. Fuck! I thought that was him playing along. I'll, I'll have to no, read no, that chapter. Well, like, I don't think so because, like, the moment before that, he's like, "No, I'm like telling people," and he's just it like cuts to like him like looking Fuck, menacingly so cool. Fuck, at I, him. I didn't notice that. How am I so stupid? <laughs> I guess he could be playing along, but the way he was acting. He was, like, definitely going to tell them no matter what. Yeah. Damn, this thing's putting out chapters, like, mad. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's up to 51. We oh, it just, it like... just updated 10 days ago, so... Yeah. Uh, it's probably, like, 12. I it, think so? I don't think it was 15. 15's definitely too far. Yeah, yeah. that's after. Yeah. Man, I, I'm so, sorry to stop this right here, but we I gotta, I gotta see the... Like, I, we don't I see so him... Dumb. <laughs> mind erase him but i i i took it as it was heavily employed oh uh, okay so you, yeah but you you're probably right yeah yeah because uh, yeah he straight up says he's like i don't know i don't remember no flash yeah because the kid's like what happened with that light light and yeah. he, he looks too it was genuine yeah, yeah. you're you're super right because i thought he was like really genuine there too yeah you're super right yup he he mind wipes this motherfucker wow Yeah, because, oh, man. Yeah, that's why I was saying that, like, whatever the fuck this guy's got going on, like, it matters to him. Yeah. <laughs> also, th- this face to me felt, like, conspiratorial. That's why mm. I ignored that top one. Sure. But you're you're super right. Yeah. That's fucking mind wipe. God damn. Okay, Kakashi's got a little bit of shit going on yeah. here. <laughs> so, uh, then... I think there's a chapter of like a little bit of a makeup y thing. Because it, it doesn't she give her shoes back in this next chapter? Yeah. Um, so Coco gives to Agatha her shoes back. And Agatha's like. This is after nightmares. Yeah. Yeah. Because she. Because uh, Agatha mentioned that she's been staying up late when she gets the shoes back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because she's been trying to like rewrite the sigil for her to like fix her boots. Yep. And, uh, yeah, she's having nightmares about of her the mom. Brim Witch and her mom. Yeah. Um, Brim Hat is what they call them. Yeah. Their hats are cooler, I'm sorry. Which is uh, dope. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so then she's like, why didn't you fucking tell the w- Dr. Witch yeah. Man? So you should have told them. Yeah. <laughs> but it was I'm fucked up, dude. Shit. <laughs> and she's like, well, you just kind of forced me to do it, so I can't really be mad because you, you, I, I nailed it. So mm. all's well that ends well. And she's like, I don't fucking agree with that. But sure, I was a bitch. <laughs> and Coco's like, eh, I don't really have time to worry about you. My mom's basically dead. You know, like she doesn't say that. But yeah. like you can tell that that's like, Coco's like, bitch. You got bigger <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then the next chapter is the doctor. No, I keep calling him the doctor. Kakashi is like, nobody come into my study. Nobody come in here. Don't mm. do it. Does yeah. a cool fucking move the wall spell. Yeah, that was sick. 
And then he's like, if I can get this fucking coin out, this is the thing that's making it so that they can fucking put whatever they yeah. want in this bottle. He's dumb as fuck, too, because he's like, this is definitely trap, so yep. I'm just going to take it out with, with some fucking tweezers. <laughs> <laughs> and then immediately, it's like the second it starts to leave the, the ink. Yeah. Like lightning strikes or something. Yeah, lightning strikes, and then water comes out and fucking goes around his head to choke his ass. Yeah. And then the ink witch comes, or the brim hat comes out and goes, no, no, no. <laughs> and like shatters the bottle and then dips. Yeah, takes a coin, <laughs> yep. shatters the bottle and leaves. And he's like, <laughs> I fucked that up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he didn't prepare at all no. for anything. No, he, he, that was the dumbest and he thing he knew done. shit was going to happen. Yeah. But it's also hard, I guess, because he's like, there's nothing he could have prepared for. Cause he's like, I mean, he could have, like, drawn sigils on, like, the walls something. or yeah. something. I mean, it's nice to see, we see, because of that, it shows us the power power level difference. Yeah. yeah. Who's in control here. Yep. I think that's also the chapter, too, that we find out that the Brim Hats were medical witches. Is that right? Yeah. Because the Brim Hats were medical witches because the, the, the coin tech mm. was used so that... The, uh, the medical witches would never run out of a potion that they needed to heal people. Sure. And so... Oh, so it keeps refilling it. Exactly. Because right. they only needed a master one, and that person could collect all the ingredients, and then they'd always have stuff, because it's like, ingredients are hard to come by. If you have one person that everyone gives the ingredients to, and they can automatically refill your shit, then you don't need to do it in the fl- on the fly in the field. Mm. And it's like, fuck, cool. But the, the brimless uh, wizards... We're like that's tech. That tech would help wars. We don't want wars. We have to destroy that tech and forget it. Mm. And the broom hats were like, "This shit saves people." No, <laughs> and they were like, "Well, too bad." Yeah, it saves people, but it can save soldiers because it can save soldiers. We yeah. got to get rid of it. And that's what split that we know of. That's what split the witches because it's like the bad guys are the healing witches, mm. and like. The good guys are the ones who kind of were more about war. Granted, they knew that war was bad because of that, but it's like, oh, fuck. Like, sure. I thought the Brim Hats were going to be like normal anime manga Evil. bullshit. Of like, yeah. we want war. Nope. They're, they're, they're medical witches. Mm. It's like, oh, fuck. Okay. I'm, I'm down. I'm down. I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued. You got me. I'll, I'll see this shit. Um, I, I, I can't. I don't remember what happens next other than the test, which I think is the last like three chapters. So I don't remember what happens in between. Uh, Coco really is, yeah, up. is she gets exhausted she gets from sick. not sleeping yep. and studying so much. And uh, she passes out and then Kakashi brings her to the town. Yep. And they pretty much like, yeah, she'll be fine. She just needs some rest. We'll leave her here. Yeah. And that's also Tartar sees him and he's like, oh, where are you going? I know a shortcut. And mm. the Kakashi's like, damn, you know this town really well. And that burns him because he's like, yeah, it's because I have to walk everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not a, I'm not good at magic, and my family's all wizards, and I mm. suck. <laughs> he's, Thanks for rubbing that in, Kakashi, you fucking prick. But okay. Um, yeah, and then Tartar pretty much, like, spins. He, he can't. He misses his boat back home and he yeah. spends time with coco and i skipped this shit james, he, but james told me about the disease yeah it's, it's super cool yeah. I mean, these chapters are actually really nice because the reason he misses his boat is because he left Lost his, his hat. hat yep yeah. in the doctor's office so when he goes back to get the hat he's like oh shit there's no nurse here oh shit coco's not doing good yeah i can't help yeah he just he can't like he knows like what she needs but because of his illness he can't like figure out what he does need yep and he gets super pissed off because he's like why aren't they labeling these fucking yeah. jars <laughs> <laughs> and then coco teaches him that like there's a spell that lets you like when you right un- the opposite of dissolve they can like remake the uh part of it yeah so he like takes all of the liquid out of the potion so it's just the ingredient inside of it and then he uses that spell to yep. like reform because he knows what the shape of the plant is as opposed to the color of it. Yep, and it doesn't actively reform the plant because the plant can't go back to what it was, mm-hmm. but it makes the ingredients into the shape, which yeah. is a super cool way to do it. Um, and then that way he's able to try and find the ingredients, and he's like, oh, fuck, Coco taught me that I can kind of use magic anyway as long mm-hmm. as I know the science behind it. Right. And he's like, okay, maybe I can do this shit. And then the head nurse comes in, and she's like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> and he's like, Ugh. 
she's sick. And the nurse kind of gives him an earful of being like, of course there's a fucking nurse here, you goddamn idiot. Yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. It's a hospital. Yeah. Like, I was just on the other wing because it's a hospital and she's not the only patient. And he's like, I'm an idiot. She's like, you're an idiot. <laughs> but you have heart. <laughs> you're a hearted idiot. Um, and um, the, the nurse also was like, yeah, of course we don't label them. Yeah. What if somebody came in and wanted to take hurtful things? Yeah. Like, fuck. Which is kind of smart. Yeah, absolutely. You don't want those fucking druggies coming in and stealing your beds. <laughs> um, but then Should he... be mentioned that Tartar was also correct in what he was about to give Coco. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> he wasn't going to kill her. Accidentally. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> so it didn't work. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's also a dope scene where uh, Tartar is like, Hey, Kakashi, I want to ask you a question about something that happened a couple days ago. And Kakashi looks at him and is like, Yeah? I'd he's love like, to answer any question you want. Yeah, he's like, I'll, whatever question you have about magic, I'll answer it and yeah. teach you whatever. But even Tartar's like, he looked at me for a second like he was going to beat the shit out of me. Mm. I can't trust this man. <laughs> so Tartar's the only one who knows that some shit went down in that place yeah. other than Kakashi. He's also like kind of oblivious about it. Mm. Like, he has like, an inkling that something's going on but by the end of these chapters he's like eh, it's probably nothing yeah he's like he's a pretty good guy he yeah. can't be that bad uh and then we get a chapter about the other girl the lazy girl yeah yeah she Reach. doesn't like taking tests she doesn't like taking tests and she also just wants to use her magic which is the dopest magic yeah. it's like crystal magic right yeah but it's just yeah. making well it's not that necessarily it's she doesn't want to, like, copy other people's magic. She kind of wants to, like, make her own. Yeah. Whatever that may be. And if that ends up just being the one she's using, she doesn't care. Mm. And and the one she's using is, yeah, she makes, like, whatever those blown ribbon. glass yeah. ribbon-looking things that you hang outside your, like, wind chimes or whatever, you know, is what it is. And uh, Coco's like, these are fucking beautiful! Can I have one? She's like, uh, yeah. Because yeah, you respect too many. <laughs> <laughs> you see her room is like in a pot yeah <laughs> that was dope dude. super cool <laughs> and yeah coco's like uh i just wanted to return something but i didn't oh god <laughs> <laughs> um and then uh agatha it takes the test like mm. the, the second test with race with race yeah. but reesh didn't know she was taking yep. the test and kashi's like you gotta do it and reesh is like Fuck you, old man. Yeah. You told me you wouldn't. Push he, he says. Me. He says it in a nicer way. He says, "I know you don't want to do it, but I think in the future you're gonna look back on this and be happy that you did this." Mm-hmm. Which is like a good way to explain it to her. And she's like, "You know what? Okay, I'll yeah. fucking take your test, but fuck you." Yeah. <laughs> yep. And it's yeah, so he's you're, you're he's, right. he's kind of a good teacher. Yeah, because it's a thing where he's like, "I'm not forcing you to do things you don't want to do." but I want you to have the opportunities to tell people that you're only doing what you want to do. Mm. Like if you're always going to be at this level, people are always going to give you shit. But if you progress, then people will shut the fuck up yeah. basically. And she's like, okay, I'll do it. And then you see a wizard. That's a complete fucking cock ass. <laughs> I mean, well, he's, he's just yeah. been browbeaten into thinking he's a piece of shit. Yeah. No, I mean the other guy. His teacher's a piece the teacher. of fucking oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the teacher no, he's for sure just a piece He of failed shit. twice. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I'm bringing on student and he failed twice. He's scum. I don't think he's going to pass. Yeah. So I'm, I'm fucking taking off. Yeah, he's like... <laughs> there's, there's adults here. <laughs> my, my fleshlight's warming on the table. I gotta go. <laughs> and, and Kakashi's like, don't talk to me. You're a piece of shit. Yeah. And he's like, whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> fucking leaves. Um... But, Even Kakashi's like, dude, like, just come to my atelier. Like, yeah. You don't have to be under this piece of shit. He's like, but maybe if I pass, he'll give me another chance. And yeah, but like, he's like, right. oh, your mind broke. Got yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't All want right, you poisoning home. my people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, so we find out that the test is, um, there are these cool penguin things. We should, we should also mention that the uh, world itself was kind of destroyed by yep. the magic tier like even the first uh test was a part of kind of what coco did accidentally to the world yep 
it's like just strong magic that destroyed a part of the world into something else. Yep, it's completely changed Which forever. Is dope. I hope like every single test is connected to those kind of events. Yep. That'd be yeah, sick. It's like a weird snake cave. Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 totally snake way, yeah. but cooler. And the penguins go there to migrate or something? Yeah, or? It's yep. not just a road. <laughs> yeah. It's uh it's a portal that went through their migration thing, and now the wizards have to take like basically take ownership of the fact that they fucked up the world mm. by making sure that they can guide these penguins to their habitat mm. uh every every year or every however yeah long it takes. every mating season or yeah. whatever um yeah, so fucking kinda, penguin griffins dude yeah it's pretty dope it's pretty fucking great <laughs> and uh a girl the teacher or like the test giver gives them all in like illusion cloaks that make them look like the creatures that they're around because mm. when she first comes in she looks like a fuzz worm or whatever yeah. it's called um, and then when she starts interacting with the whatever, I was slightly hoping that it was just a witch <laughs> bug worm or whatever. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> so is Coco. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. So, the, so the test is like, they'll only follow you if you wear these coats. So go. And the, the pathway that they go into is super fucked up mm-hmm. because like certain gravity is all weird yeah and like you can't fly because like it you'll get pulled into like the abyss basically and everything corkscrews and like there's different pathways uh different sections of the snake way isn't like real anymore yeah like you'll slip through it yeah there's no like gravity there so and uh so the dude's like that's not right you can't do it that way stop it like I've yeah. done, I've failed Agatha twice. Agatha tries to like fly, and she just like hits the ground again. Yep. And uh, there's a cool part where Agatha's like, "Well, I'll just use this water spell." Yeah. In the water will pool where there is gravity, yep. so we can just walk that way. And the guy's like, oh, "I didn't think of that." Yep. <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> and then uh, I remember too that uh, uh, Reesh tries something, and he's like, "No, no, no! Don't do it that way." Mm. And then she like totally is able to get her thing to follow her because she uses her ice magic to like be like look at this interesting thing to dumbass ribbons yeah. yeah and he's she's like i'm literally going to pass this my way you yeah. can pass it your way bro but you need to shut the yeah, fuck up like, about the right way yeah because there isn't one yeah and then he kind of gets his like glorious moment at the end he's like, though no, it's a test there's a question and an answer yeah so there has to be one way yeah but but I think it's the end of this chapter is like they get up to a part where it's broken and yeah. like the water didn't work because it's a broken part of the road mm. and he's like, this is how I fail. Like look, it's it's difficult. Yeah. You guys succeeded until now, but y'all need to get your shit together. And he's like, but I didn't get my shit together, so who knows? <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, yeah, that, that sounds about right. Yeah, no, I, I, <coughs> why'd you look at me? <laughs> the door open. Oh, well, it's just the it's just ghosts. ghosts. Yeah, <laughs> it's fine. Darius, you're pretty chill after saying it's ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I like these ten chapters more than the first ten. Yeah, I like it all. Are we not going to talk about Coco going to the cliff? Oh right, we didn't <laughs> talk about the other Brimhat, who's just invisible. Right. Yeah, he like draws her away from Kakashi. Yeah. And she's like she runs up to a cliff. She's like, I don't see anything. I thought I saw something. He's like underneath the cliff. Mm. Yeah. And just right like waiting to do whatever the fuck he's gonna do. Cause I don't think they want to physically hurt her. No. Well they need something from her. We just don't know what yet. Yeah. And then there's also 'cause they when, when she changes the world, they're like, It's already starting. You know, when she does the sand thing and they're like, Good, mm. fuck it let's roll um and yeah so uh that that brim hat is like is invisible yeah his and, body's just go, like gone yeah it's dope. and because they 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 make an allusion to being like yeah you're the one who knows the most about fucking body modification magic bro and when he takes his cloak off to show himself it's just nothing in yeah. the cloak and i was like Ooh, that's sick all right what's well, good <laughs> Because, yeah, med- medical witches is body modification magic because they use magic to heal, too. Mm. And that's one of the things that's banned. So, 
um yeah i i love the lore i cannot yeah. wait to learn more about the magic like, system's dope as fuck yeah the world's awesome the art's amazing yep Hopefully Darius won't skip chapters this time. <laughs> well, they would make it interesting. I would. I wouldn't. <laughs> he hates it more than the first ten chapters. I, <laughs> I just. I'm, I'm, I don't like any of the characters. So. Yeah, not even Tartar. The best. Not even he's, the professor. He's fine. He's the best. He's got shit I hate going the on. professor the most. Why? Uh, I think it's weird that he's with these little girls. And I think that he's just like. He. I can tell the artists just want him want they want him to be super cool, mm-hmm. but it's not grabbing me not at all. He hasn't earned the coolness. He just looks cool, but he hasn't earned, did anything to earn the coolness yet. That's fair. Sure. The the sword water thing was pretty cool, but yeah, like he, I, I like Darius is definitely right that like he's supposed to be a pretty big dick, but we haven't seen him do big dickery. Yeah. And I think I think hopefully I think I like his outfit without the cloak because I love tight fitting like clothes on sure. characters. Um, but I, I hope we see some cool shit this time. I don't yeah. need it to be like a fight, but I need I want to see like him do some mm. some pretty rad shit. Yeah. But you know I'm I'm digging it. I'm digging it a lot. I'm yeah. Not I like it. <laughs> I'm sorry you don't like good manga. <laughs> I'm sorry you got bad taste. There yeah, we go. You were That's what I was waiting on. <laughs> yeah, fucking stocking. Let's melt these down. <laughs> it's a mob mentality. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I can't wait to read the next 10. He's going to be good. We'll see. Damn. <laughs> Damn, Darius. You really hate this shit. Dude. Yeah, dude. He's, he's, uh, he's going into these chapters with hate in his heart. So he's not gonna like anything that happens. So like, do you only <laughs> care about characters? Uh, I care about stuff that interests me. I mean, it, it, these characters don't interest me, and the lore isn't that interesting to me as well. Hmm. Like, I love, I love lore. I love One Piece lore, <laughs> but it's a double edged sword with One Piece lore because you don't get any answers. You don't get any lore. <laughs> so, but uh, I don't know. Just, the world isn't that interesting to me, and the lore is it's not grabbing me, man. It's not. It's not that amazing. Yeah, brutal. I don't know. I think the magic system's dope as fuck. Yeah, for sure. The magic system is fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I, I like Full Metal Alchemist magic system more. Yeah, but like, it's do they the even thing. explain it? No, they're just like it's a rune. Yeah, they just say it works. Yeah, it's 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 literally the exact same. Equivalent thing. is changed, James. Yeah. 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 What does that yeah. mean exactly? Uh, like you have to give enough right, to get like, something from it. When you get down to it, like if they want silver, like what's equivalent to that? Can they just like shovel enough dog shit onto the rune to make silver? Yeah, that's no. pretty lame. <laughs> I mean, I don't, <laughs> they never had to make silver, so I don't know what to tell you, man. Yeah. <laughs> Full Metal Alchemist is just this system, but not explained. Yeah. Yeah. But, 100%. like, this one, like, it's explained, and, like, it's intuitive. Yeah. I think it's red. Like, you can I'm, imagine I'm not yourself, saying it's bad, like, Noah. I'm just saying it's not interesting to me. And, like, there's, like, a thing to it, and not just, like, oh, I have a rune on my glove, so when I snap, there's fire. <laughs> like, which is inherently cool. Yeah. But... You know it's you know when you want to know how like, you know it's a fire spell, it's because he had to draw a fire on it. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I always figured that it was stuff in the glove. It's not just a normal glove. It was like the, the thing, glove was made out of material. The only thing the to, glove does to make them strike a, a a spark. It is, and that's cool. And they put they put thought into it. I mean, it's, I'm not saying it's not cool. It's cool. But like, see, but here's the thing too: is that like they, what Noah's saying is that they don't explain how it works because they say this rune controls the oxygen in the air, so that when I make a spark, it blows up that oxygen. And then you look at that rune and you go, "What part of that rune does that?" And he goes, "The rune. <laughs> it's a secret technique handed down to only me. You can't know." I, and you're like, "Okay, right. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, but but this is cool. It's because like soft it tells magic. You. Yeah." yeah. And I'm definitely more of a fan of like hard magic systems. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't need the full science of it. 
I like enjoy that cool. shit. Yeah. Yeah, which is which is fine. So I'm not saying it's bad. I just like it's not it's not interesting to me. You want to see more of the sword that splits water, and you don't need to know why the sword splits water. Is kind of what it is. Unless in fact, in fact, like unless it like affects the plot, then no, I don't. Yeah. I don't need you to explain it to me the whole time. No. Yeah. yeah. That's the shit I like, though. <laughs> which is which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> This is a thing we we talked about this what twenty podcasts ago when we were talking about like wanting people to like things and fighting really hard to make people like things mm. because you don't you don't want them to like it because you want them to like it yeah. you want them to see it how you see it yeah. right and like that's the whole thing here is that like Noah wants you to see, love it the way he loves it yeah. and it's not that he doesn't like that you don't like it the way he does he just wishes he wants you to like it the same way. It's fun stuff. I mean, yeah, it's uh, it's cool. It's, it, You're breaking poor Noah's heart. It's when not. You say it's shit. It's yeah. not. <laughs> it's not bad. I've 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 read worse. You know for sure. It's just not that interesting like, to me. I don't know. <laughs> don't worry. I feel Noah. like you guys don't care enough about the art either. The art, I think the art's great. The art's fine. The art's great. I it's love fine. the art. The art's amazing. It's I, just that I. I'm used to berserk backgrounds, and this isn't berserk backgrounds, which I don't need it to be. I love but, it for what it berserk is. Berserk backgrounds is the pinnacle of exactly, like... Exactly, <laughs> exactly. I'm a fucker for comparing it, you know? It's like being like, yeah, your kid can draw okay, but is it the fucking Sistine Chapel? Like, but you know, like, I love this art, and I... Dude, the, the floating islands, fucking mm. amazing. Like, that's the shit I love. When I see, like, unique shit, I'm mm. like, oh, yeah. And, like, his little hobbit hole house, I love it. But like it's it's I don't know it's 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 I love it but I don't love it as much as you but that's not a problem because I still love it that's top tier yeah the art, the art is great the art's the best thing about it all right like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah the art's I mean, beautiful that's fair, dude like, the art the art is fucking great but the art isn't enough to keep me engaged at the edge of my seat you know sure. it's okay I, I need. I, I fully expect when I pick the next manga, both of you to be like Darius is with what I pick. <laughs> I'm like gearing up for it where I'm going to be like, dude, wasn't that chapter sick? It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I don't know. It's like um, with manga, you need like, you need like, good art, good story, good characters, good writing, you know, all, you need everything to just work together. And, um, I don't know, just the characters aren't hitting for me mm. and the story isn't hitting for me and like the events aren't really hitting for me. I feel like you know, I'm, I'm like and with the events, they, they're, they're fine. Mm. But like um, the the tension of when we did Hell's Paradise, Devil of Blues, mm. when they were like counting his fingers, the tension in that scene was like crazy. Mm. And like I did, there's no like tension in this like whereas like i'm at the edge of my seat like what the fuck is gonna happen next it's like okay they're running away from the dragon okay they're hiding from the dragon some talking some talking they put the dragon to sleep and we're out and it's like is, is it only and eh. i guess i can kind of see it that way too at least with the uh um when the witches show up to wipe coco because mm. like kakashi shows up within like four pages and then it's over. Mm. And it's like, okay, it's super cool. And then it gets resolved. And it's like, okay. Sure. I still dug the fuck out of it. But like. Yeah, I, it's, I, not, I it's not bad. I'm not saying it's bad. I just like, <laughs> I, I want some like more, more tension. And... The stakes aren't high enough yet. Sure. I feel is what, what yeah. it is. Right. Because we, we, we know, we know where the stakes are going to come from. Right. Mm. And I think that's why I think these next 10 are going to, might change his response. Because we're going to see the Invisible Wizard doing some shit mm. while the others are gone. But also, I think we kind of fucked ourselves because we went from, what, Sun Ken <laughs> to, Hell's, to Paradise. Hell's Paradise to Devil's Blues, which is like, those stakes in all those animes are super fucking high mm. all the time. And then this one and is this a bit is of a, a slow burn. Chiller, yeah. which is nothing wrong with things being chill. I'm just like, 
We went for we went to Sun Kid stakes are highest like like that, you know. I did Devil's Blues. Went from like F one to Mario Kart. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like his life is on a line at all time in Devil's Blues, you know. And these are just kids having fun. But at the same time, I'm the same guy where I hated the the uh, thing in my hero academia when the kids had their festival. I was sure. like that that was a big part of me with stakes of you went from fighting Yakuza to having a concert. Mm. I, I like, I need that. Sure. You know, so that, that, that I think that's what it, what it is with me, but James might be right. The stakes might just be climbing a little bit slower. Yeah. Yeah. So they definitely like establish the world more so than anything else. But yeah. I'm I'm not shitting on it. I I, I, I can't call <laughs> it, it. It feels like you're shitting on it. <laughs> well, you came at me when you said uh, I'm glad. Uh, well, you don't like you know good good manga, so I had to clap. <laughs> I, had I had to, to clap, clap back. back. Like I can't just you know. Yeah, there was there was a whole lot of hyperbole happening on both sides of that couch. Yeah. <laughs> so I can't I can't say it's bad. I can never say it's bad. Mm. It's just. A little slow and the stakes aren't as high. But also, you know, we went from the from the shit we went from to this is gonna be it's a totally different anime. Sure. Or a manga. Yeah. So which I'm I'm cool with different mangas. Just I bet I bet too, because of what he's saying of like we went from those things. I bet if we had a different like not that your mindset is in a place of whatever, but think about it too. We were also watching Hunter Hunter and Jujutsu Kaisen while like while we read those mm-hmm. so like you might be in a mindset of wanting more of that so switching to this more gentle of a like yeah. thing is kind of like one of those hard swerves but whereas like you and i will switch shit like that at the drop of a hat when we're reading stuff you know sure like we can go from berserk to fucking hori mia to komi mm. to whatever and i think darius that's just not like something that you're used to doing right it was like switching, hard switching from like if you were watching Berserk to then you decided to watch Hello Kitty. Yeah, you know? I, I think also just like it's a I don't know it's a with the what what we've been picking to choose to read. I was expecting something more because of like the standard of what we've been picking. Yeah. So I think that's more of it. And it's definitely, I I can, I can see that. Cause it's not that this is at a lower standard. It's that the things we were reading were like weirdly top tier. Whereas (laughs) this is like high tier. (laughs) Sure. (laughs) (laughs) You putting this on the same level as Sun Ken. Art wise, like this is amazing, dude. But it's not about. Like, I'm talking about well, more like, than art. But, like you yeah, can't. Everything. Well, like you can't uh-huh. like compare like a death battle manga to like a fantasy one. You're right. Like you can't say like, well, this story's just better because there's more fights. Yeah. And like yeah, you can't you can't take a battle manga and like a slice of life and say that the battle manga is inherently better because there's more like death tension than in like a slice of life yeah i don't think we're saying that that. no like no devil that's what like you're saying but you're saying like it's like battle manga that's it's not but like the tension's the same and like like you're scared of their death more so than anything else but you can write good tension without someone having to die die just like maybe it's the dialogue that i'm not feeling the dialogue is is like the tension between Agatha, Ag- Agatha, 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 and Coco could be higher, I guess. Also, hmm. like it's it's a little bit there, but the dialogue just seems like they're Agatha is just being run. Is it feels like the the writing is run of the mill, nothing like special when it comes to dialogue. She's just going through the paces. Sure. She isn't like really making them feel anything special when it comes to their relationships with each other. Mm-hmm. And that's where I, I might just be clocking out at. Sure. Now that you bring that up, I feel like I can like, cause I love that they're like their interaction, but it does seem like Agatha chilled pretty quickly. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Because, like, they're, they're still rivals, mm. but it's a little bit less from, like, like, she's, it's been, what, 15 chapters? Or not even. We're on chapter 20. Yeah, I was going to say maybe yeah. 10 chapters where Agatha has, like, completely almost dropped that mindset of, like, anyone who can't help me is worthless. Mm. And I feel like she probably could have gotten a little bit more development in there sure. of her still being a bitch, you know? Yeah, but you guys hated her because she was a bitch. Yeah, but if it, she, she was, she, it's because she, she went to a ten immediately. But that's the, the hating the character isn't a bad thing. Like I, that's true. I I disliked her bitchiness, but I respected her character. Right. Yeah. I respected the fact that she was a bitch, but it was my my anime weeb self going, "Don't you treat Coco like that. A, a nice a nice example is a uh, is a uh, Sun King Rock. I hated Pickaxe. He was a dick. Sure. But I love that he told. Son of Ken, I I think you suck. I should be leading this because mm. he he was an asshole, and I, I love that tension between them, mm. and that was dope. Like, I hate pickaxe, but I don't like. I don't hate him because he's a badly written character. I just hate him because he's doing what pickaxe is doing, yeah, and they're you, doing. You hate him because he is a shit bag at heart. <laughs> yeah, and like their 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 relationship with each other is fucking great. Yeah. Yeah, because th- that's kind of how I felt with Agatha. Because, like, I like Agatha, but I feel like she cooled quickly. Sure. In the way that, like, she almost felt like like she she, she learned her lesson too quick. Mm. If that was her, if for years she thought to herself, no one else can help me, and then it was, like, an immediate, like, oh, never mind. Which is kind of how it kind of happened. Like, she's still kind of, like, uh, um, prickly. Is, mm. is that the best way to put her right now? She's, like, prickly. She's not... She's not as bubbly as the blonde, curly-haired girl whose name I can't remember. Yeah. That bitch is gone. I can't remember. Her <laughs> <at all. laughs> um, but but like, yeah, it feels like you know those. We, we've talked about this with anime or like characters where like I feel like maybe she heard a lot of responses or whoever the author is that people thought that Agatha was a bitch, and then she took that mm. and dropped her less of a bitch. But maybe it was like what Darius was saying, where it's not a problem that she's a bitch. It's that, like, people were like, man, that character's... And they were like, oh, we gotta tone that down. It's like, no, 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 do it gentle, gentle, gentle. She can stay a bitch. People like Sasuke because he's a fucking dickhead. Like, it's okay. You can keep him, keep her a dickhead. It's fine, it's fine. Yeah, but uh, this this manga is, is good. It's, it's not bad. I'm not, like, it's just not... It's not, it's not hidden. Hidden me where, you know... Right. I'm in love with it, which is fine. There's another, nothing wrong with that. It, it, you you like it, and it's giving, yeah. it's pulling something out of you, which is good. You know. I was about to make a terrible joke, but there are too many children in this manga to do it. <laughs> oh God! Yeah, it's about pulling out, pulling something out, like a like a like a, you know, like masturbation. That's the one. You got it. Talking That's about. the one. You got it. <laughs> Oh man, Trisha's mom will listen to this sometimes. There's no way she got this far. <laughs> no, she didn't get this far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I, I actually kind of lit up when I saw that there were ten more. Yeah, yeah, because I was like, I didn't want this to end yet. Mm. Like, I'm, I'm excited to see where it goes, and like these next ten chapters, I feel like some, some shit's gonna happen. I, I but also maybe the fuck. author is just getting better and just working through her her little humps because it takes manga takes a while to get to where like it's comfortable at or like where it gets good i i I, it just hit me with what darius was saying hell's paradise's pacing is the best pacing we've ever i've ever seen in a manga right Mm -hmm. because that pacing was ridiculous and like not even as a battle manga but like the story beats seem to hit perfect every time so going to this which is slightly slower is a, is a little halting because like i I'm, I'm like like i said I, I love it but i understand how like going from you know perfect pacing to something which is a little bit lower like state like you know whatever can be can be a little jarring maybe we need arcs is, is there arcs in this i just feel like the story's just been going there's a mean arc are we in the arc i guess there haven't been like traditional arcs yeah and maybe that yeah maybe we're so used to arcs that it's because mm. i guess if you wanted to say there are arcs 
No, this manga, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even say it. Things aren't long enough to be arcs. Yeah. Because I wouldn't even say that, like, there's, like, the test arcs, right? Yeah. Because, like, test like one was... a chapter. Yeah, and test two is probably going to be, like, four. Max. Something like that. I mean, it could be longer. Yeah. I'm excited format. to see the, the other tests. Yeah. Is test three or four the lake? It's three, I right? I don't remember. I think it's four... You, did you notice there was uh, the tests were shaped in a pentagram? Yep. Oh yeah. Which is nice. A little worrying. <laughs> like, <laughs> did y'all do y'all know y'all did that or? It's just a witch symbol. It doesn't mean Satan. <laughs> the Christians co-opted that to mean evil. We're fine. <laughs> so yeah, I mean it's it's fine. I just we'll see where it goes. Do you think the magical thing with the lake is that they changed the creatures to be that big? And that's what the magic did for that test? Mm. That'd, make, that'd be cool. Right? Because that's what I'm trying to think. Isn't Ag- is Agatha modified. trying to get to the, the lake, too? Yeah, she's yeah. trying to get to the library. Her yeah. uh, family is the librarians mm. for that place. Yeah. And that's why she's like, that's important. Mm. I need to get there. Her family sounds like it sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like well, it's, it's like serious blacks family basically it, yep yeah if you ain't worthy yeah. how about you go fuck yourself well and she, they did say that she's like direct descendant from the original three that didn't wipe their minds yeah their magic. I, I remember reading that so yeah there's there's definitely some interesting stuff that she's put in that makes me like super mm-hmm. amped to get to it and i want to see more of this test this test has me fucking real interested sure I, I hope the idiot boy passes, but I also am totally okay with him failing. Yeah. And then just being like, I've gained confidence from this. Fuck you, teacher. Yeah. You know, and then he just dips. <laughs> no, they're, they're all kind of pass. Yeah. Here you see Reach not passing. Yeah. I could also see her not caring. Will. Yeah. Or better yet, I think she, what might happen, and I'd be super okay with this, is she won't pass, and then she'll use that as a thing to be like, no, I want to pass this now. Sure. You know, like that'll yeah. be her impetus. Motivation. Yeah. I think that'd be really cool. Yeah. She's going to be like, oh, I want to pass this my way. Yep. Yeah. I'd, I'd like that a lot. I'd like that a lot. Here's hoping. Yeah. We'll have to read to find out. I'm excited. Chapter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a side point about mangas whenever you read it. Do you guys skip the omakes? I almost always do. What's an omake? Omake is the chapter that's all like jokes. Oh, oh, like the end of the book. Yeah. Stuff, yeah. Where they're they're all like goofing. I think I did, I think I read the sunken goofing stuff. Yeah. I think so. Well, those ones were more like real chapters. Omakes are a little bit goofier. Mm-hmm. It's like it's like doesn't relate to the story in any capacity yeah, almost. Like filler. Yeah. But I, I skip them every time. Probably not. Then I don't I don't care if it's not important. Yeah. To the story. Yeah, I don't know if I've noticed if I've read Omakes or not for this. Yeah, it's fair. But yeah. What's up, baby? <laughs> uh, so we we ready for the end of question? That yeah. is why I pointed. Oh, I was wondering why you were fucking pointing. <laughs> yeah, well, I thought you knew what your job was. I'm sorry. It's okay, baby. It's only you episode apologize. 44. Yep, look at him. He remembered what you told him earlier. Yeah. Dang. He doesn't even have to start doing that until the new year. Like, <laughs> he's getting his head start. <laughs> <laughs> um, is this, would you fuck a robot? Is that? <laughs> if you can be ahead of any company, what company would you choose to be ahead of? Or CEO? United States government. It's, not, it's just a company, baby. It's, I don't, <laughs> I don't say, I don't think it's a company. Is it technically a company? Or are you t- gonna tell me some shit I don't know? I mean, how is it different? <laughs> they regulate stuff for companies. So. There we go. It's the company's company. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> if they Cap- can be lobbied to regulate stuff the way companies want them regulated, they're a fucking company. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna. Ar- I'm not gonna argue with you until you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Worldwide, right? Yeah. Uh, Capcom. I would love to just be a, like, not even necessarily to change anything. Just I would love to see what's in the works. Yeah. See all the uh, all the, the shit they got going on yeah. right now. Because I'm, uh, dude. Capcom has the most that I'm excited for to see what they have 
to like show because it's just been hit after hit for the past like three four years right probably Mm. a little bit more than that hit after hit like what do you have coming you have street fighter 6 that we know of you've got that cool space game that i can't fucking wait for you to tell me more about you've got i'm sure i mean resident evil dlc you got like they've got stuff that i give a fuck about possibly dragon's dogma possibly dragon's dogma 2 possibly fucking dino crisis because they 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 still said that they're planning on bringing back a classic franchise it's one of the things that there's on their things and it's like you got a lot of classics capcom you can't just you can't just hit us with that like what is it (laughs) yeah so yeah i'd pick capcom fuck it no i don't know I mean, easy answers are like billion dollar companies. Yeah, well, right. The Amazon fucking. I want to be busy all the time. Yeah, no, fuck. fuck <laughs> Shay, you don't want to become the CEO of uh, Facebook and cock the Zuck? Yeah, I'd be the uh, CEO of Meta. Yeah, yeah, my bad, my bad. <laughs> Did you see the shit with Meta where that's apparently like a PC company? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, they were it's... like, th- th- they put in their thing to get that name like a month before Facebook did, and they're like, we'll sell it to you for a uh, billion like, dollars. Yeah, like 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 f- fifteen mil or something. They said, and it's like because they they know they're gonna lose yeah. that copyright or whatever <laughs> that is for the name, trademark or whatever. Um, I think I'll be CEO of uh, probably Marvel Studios. Yeah, I would love to have my hand in the direction of where that shit goes. <laughs> I feel like it's spreading in the wrong direction right now. Mm. <laughs> and they need to fix that shit. But yeah, and, and like just like knowing what's coming next and just being involved in that process. I love superheroes. Yeah. And I love movies, superhero movies. So most definitely that. That's a good one. It's all about the knowledge. You know, that's, that's what it is. Because like, if you're CEO of any company, you're going to make money. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you just will just from being there. So it doesn't really... You're going to be making more money than you could ever even use. No. Yeah. Then you got to, like, answer to shareholders and shit. That's true. I mean, a lot of money would make me okay with doing a lot of shit I don't want to do. If I'm, like, a millionaire, I'd be like, eh. Yeah, but, like, you can't do what you want to do no i mean personally like if i want to you know no go if, if i have the financial freedom to do whatever the fuck i want to sure. i can take a meeting with a shareholder and not complain too much about it also i'll have the in the back of my head that i only need 10 million total dollars yeah. to live the rest of it. honestly what it's i'm seven like now. saying is like you don't need to be the head of like marvel in order to like do whatever you want and not have like shareholder meetings right yeah like you don't need a billion dollar company to travel no no <laughs> but i'm, I'm saying i I'm, yeah, the I'm, money's the plus on his money. yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I, but I, I want to be involved with marvel because yeah. I, I think it's such, such so cool sure yeah i don't know i'd probably pick like a game company yeah. probably under like sony or something yeah, shit, dude. If you pick Naughty Dog, you'd you'd be get hitting a couple. I don't like couple Naughty Dog games. Not Naughty Dog, Insomniac. <laughs> I meant Insomniac. Insomniac's dope. Sucker yeah. Punch would be cool, but not that I don't like Ghosts. But I don't know if I'd care to to work on a game like that. But wouldn't it be cool? Well, you see, oh, you don't work on games. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you definitely can. You can, but uh, no, I was gonna say I, I'd probably I think, riot. That'd be dope. But then yeah. I'd be under ten cent. Yeah, that and that you'd have people Pooh looking at everything in my you do ass. forever. You'd be like, hey, Noah, Trop, why is your company still shit against women? Because like, <laughs> <laughs> it's Riot. Yeah, I just took I'll over magically. <laughs> yeah, I'll pick Riot. That's another one where I'd like, that'd be a Riot's good one to know yeah. what they've got in the works. Because they still haven't shown off the fighting game, right? Nope. And they still haven't shown off. They showed off the RPG. Yeah. They showed off. Is it like Battle Chasers? Yeah, the Battle Chasers dudes are doing... I think that's out. Is it? Maybe. I, I think oh, I like remember saying people played it. Or like I saw It's like a music-based game it. that was just announced from Riot Forge. Jesus. Yeah, but I mean, like, they're doing a lot of shit. And all their games are quality, Yeah, in my opinion. 
And I mean, they even made that Guess Who game on Tabletop Simulator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd pick Riot. That's smart. All right, cool. Thanks for taking the time of your day to listen to us. Yeah, thank you so much. And uh, if you guys are reading the manga with us, tell us how you, what you think about it. Yeah, please do. Yeah. I say it like that because I don't believe anyone's going to say anything. Of course, <laughs> <not>. <laughs> of course not. That's okay, though. We still love you. <laughs> I'll cash up you $100 if you reply to this yeah. on the first day. Yeah. The first day, do it. It's going to be Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Easiest 100 you ever made. <laughs> uh, I like it. <laughs> the best. Fuck Darius. Give me the money. <laughs> Give me the money. <laughs> Oh. But yeah, thanks for, thanks for listening, guys. Yeah. We always appreciate you. Yeah, you're the best. You're the best. Peace. Bye bye. <laughs>